You're about to watch another episode of The Dungeon Run, but did you know that you can actually be part of the adventure? When you tune in live on Wednesday nights at 6 p.m. Pacific time, you can make your voice heard and help determine the fate of our adventurers. We hope to see you there. Welcome to the Dungeon Run, a live tabletop role-playing game where your interactions help tell the tale. I am Lord Erebon, Keeper of Secrets, and your host for tonight's campaign. Together, we stand witness as our intrepid adventurers face terrible danger and most certain doom in their quest for glory, valor, and most importantly, treasure. <laughs> yes, throughout our time together, you will be called upon to help guide decisions made within the game. In addition to our live chat interactions, those that are brave enough can purchase one of five unique digital items. You could bestow upon the adventuring party the gift of advantage, the ability to roll two 20-sided dice at once and choose the higher of the two. Or for those of you that feel the players have had it too easy up until now, you're crazy, by the way, you can set the trap of disadvantage. If the player has advantage, this disadvantage will counter it. And if the player does not have an advantage, well, 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 they will roll two 20-sided dice at once and take the lowest. After all, what? Life is pain! Or perhaps you'll want to be the wind at our adventurer's backs and allow them to draw from the force of good deck. Or to add an additional challenge, of course, you can purchase a Force of Evil card. And you have to be evil to do that. When you buy one of these digital items, please specify which player at the table it is for. Or, guess what? I'll decide for you. Understood? Oh, that's not all. Please remember, it's on you. You can purchase an IOU. And each time you do, it will light a force of good candle. And when, you, when the goal of 20 candles is reached, a force of good card will be awarded to a random member of the team. If at the end of tonight's adventure there are candles still lit, they will carry over to the next show. Also, you have the power to submit your idea for a force of good or force of evil card, and we might use it on the show! Head over to thedungeonrun.fandom.com to submit. You can upload your fan art there as well. And to those who have already submitted, I see you, and I thank you. Search your mind. And we... Oh, wait, hold on! We have Dungeon Run shirts. Seriously, check it out! We have four shirts available. The Dungeon Run logo. You've seen it before. Rosy Cheeks Pub and Tavern Hall. That's right, drinks on me. Just kidding. Meep lives, ah, fiery little bird. And my personal favorite, yes, it's me, Lord Araban. Get them all. Purchase them over at thedungeonrun.fandom.com. Now, let's meet our brave souls, the cast of characters, if you will. Please welcome Katie Michaels as Lily Dumblestock. Good evening. Yes. Ronald Ogden as Argo. Good night! Good night. No, it's the night's just beginning. Ugh. Morgan Peter Brown is James Quillis. Sup. S Sup? <laughs> what on earth is going on here? <laughs> Jessica, Lynn, Jessica Lynn Parsons as Fahima Tig. Hello. Now that's more like it. 
Jared K. Jack as Sivrit Thistle. So I'm taking odds on how well we do on the jutty tonight. You want in on that? Yes. All right. I'll All my gold. For... How much? And... <laughs> gold. Everything. And our dungeon master himself, Mr. Jeff Kanata. How you doing, Lord Airband? I'm good, Jeff. You? You look spectacular. Is that a new cloak? It's the same one the same as one. before. But I, it, I washed it. As their journey continues, I, Lord Erebon, will be joining you in your social conversations around the game, so keep an eye out for my avatar and comments. And before we begin, I have a favor to ask of you. It would give me great pleasure if you would share the show. Just click below and let all of your admirers know that you are watching The Dungeon Run. Now, keep the comments coming. Be ever vigilant. And let the dice roll! All right! Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Is ready to play? Yes. Yeah. yes. Well, before we start tonight, what? Something pretty special. What? Uh, a viewer has sent you guys a gift. What? Wow. Uh, Jason Brown made minis for all of you. Whoa. What? Whoa. On Hero Forge. <laughs> Whoa! And then painted them. Dude! Uh, they're pretty great. Uh, he nailed all of you. Uh, this is uh, Civ Red Thistle. Nice. Jason. Oh my god. Oh, what do you, I go. love Hero Forge. Are you kidding me? Uh, this oh. is Fahimatai. Oh, oh, look at god. that. A little oh meep, in fact. Oh my god. This is James Quillis. Look at that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. Please hand a go down. He's got purple oh, smoke, purple. purple smoke coming out of yes. his hand. Yes. Oh, oh I'll go so oh, good. Yes. And this is. Lily Dumpstock. Yes! Uh, Jason said that he has never done anything like this before and probably won't ever again, but I can't wow. I can't believe that you because they are exquisite. Yeah. They're so well yeah. painted, yeah. man. Guys, it's wow. amazing how yeah, I saw that. perfect all of you came out. So wow. he wanted that to be a surprise. <laughs> and I've got books next to me. Uh, Isn't that wild? There's a flute in Lily's hand. And a beer. Oh, uh, and, be and a stein, yes. <laughs> Jason, I approve of your you last name. That? Yeah, there's uh, a little mouse. This is yeah, Mr. Whispers on there. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's quite extraordinary. He, he, to the point of, Ugo has blue eyes yeah. now. I got he green did eyes, apologize. Yeah. He said, I know that Fahima and James both have glasses, and he tried to make glasses, oh. but he said it didn't work. I have that issue on Hero Forge before. Yeah, yeah there's no, no glasses on Hero Forge. This is amazing. It's amazing. Uh, Thank you amazing. so much. Yeah, there's, a, there's a meat. Like, that's crazy. Pretty wild, yeah. right? Okay. Wow. Thank you, Jason. And her outfit very, very kind is of you. like her uh, Let's catch everybody up, shall we? Oh. I, I've lost control of the yeah. <laughs> yeah, We're not paying attention to you. We're too excited. We save the toys to the end. That's what, I learned anything as a father. Okay. So we're gonna, <laughs> Ready? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It started okay. as a simple dungeon run. Five new adventurers who happened to find one of the most powerful artifacts in the entire world, the Secret Keeper's Amulet, an item that allows you, the watchers of the time stream, to influence their world and bring chaos to them wherever they go. But it also set them off on an epic quest to find the missing Wardens of Ein, the great protectors of the realms, who have been disappearing, captured, and imprisoned. Having already freed one of these Wardens from a tower in the sky, our team set off to find another, this time out in the ocean. A wizard by the name of Claudiette Mormfallow procured travel for them aboard the Tardy Plunder, and when they arrived by portal, the vessel was sailing east on course to enter the treacherous waters of the Deep Reef. But when the team heard that Lily's island home of Bingle was under attack, they forced the ship's captain, Mervis Blowhard, to turn the ship around so they could mount a courageous defense of the island. And defend it they did, defeating the evil Kapru who had been using mind control to command an army of sea creatures to terrorize Bingle's idyllic shores. But the journey to Bingle was a costly one. Rerouting the ship back toward the island meant they sailed headlong into a storm and into the path of a group of vicious harpies. While the team managed to save one crewman who was thrown overboard, two others lost their lives, including the ship's helmsman, Loudmouth the Mute, who drowned as the ship sailed away, unable to even call out for help. When the heroes of Bingle returned to the tardy plunder after a night of celebration and reverie, 
they found a new problem waiting for them. Mervis Blowhard and his crew were unwilling to brave the unforgiving waters of the deep reef without Loudmouth's experience at the wheel. Mervis told them that if they were still hell-bent on sailing into deep reef, there was only one other helmsman alive that he'd trust to make the journey, Saugus Van Fleek. Unfortunately, Van Fleek served at the pleasure of Mervis's arch nemesis, the very man who had cut out Loudmouth's tongue, the pirate known as Whitebeard. Ooh, Whitebeard. Thank you. <laughs> I wonder if you're gonna do that. It's required every time. <laughs> but when Mervis suggested infiltrating Whitebeard's stronghold, taking Saugus Van Fleek, and killing Whitebeard on the way out, tempers flared. Ugo refused to consider the offer and nearly found himself thrown in the brig as the entire ship's crew was summoned, swords out, to the captain's stateroom. Luckily, James managed to cast suggestion on Mervis, once again influencing his mind and narrow, narrowly averting a deadly confrontation. A long night passed. Siv made a connection with the bosun, Sharn, who told him of Blowhard and Whitebeard's contentious past. Then he and Fahima took a risky sojourn into the captain's chambers, mm -hmm. searching for clues that might shed more light on that relationship. Instead, they found Mervis's hidden stash of porcelain figurines, lovingly displayed near a pinup of Lily's old drinking opponent from Rosy Cheek's pub and tavern hall, Feisty Gale Hammersmith. Legend. As we ended last week, the heroes of Bingle were still trying to work out their differences and come up with a plan. They prevailed upon the wizard, Claudiette, to join them in their quest to find Saugus Van Fleek and spied an enormous shelled sea creature in the water as they approached the island of Weir. A gorgeous sight, the island, lush and green high atop it, with a shelf of waterfalls punctuating its circumference, cascading out and over and into the sea. We pick up our tale as the tardy plunder anchors itself a safe distance from the island, and the heroes of Bingle prepare to row out in search of Whitebeard's Juddy. Yar. Yar. All right, so. We are still on the tardy plunder, uh, but uh, you can only see the island in the distance. Uh, as I mentioned, it is uh, punctuated around all sides by waterfalls. It's, it's a gorgeous, beautiful sight, uh, and it's clear that you're going to have to row from here to get to the stronghold. Are there any signs of civilization, like outposts, the uh, tower, like viewing towers, or ships docked anywhere that we can see? No. Okay. What What time of day is it right now? Um, I would say probably about eleven o'clock in the morning. Okay. Yeah. How much sunlight do we have? Like, what time does the sun normally set? About six, seven o'clock. Okay. How long about to row there? Uh, it would probably be an hour or so okay. of rowing it. Ugo's swift pace. Um, the the Mervis is nowhere to be found right now. He's still in his quarters, uh, and the scuttlebutt on the boat is that he is a little embarrassed that he passed out and unwilling to sort of make an appearance this morning. Uh, is Steve around? Or mm. yeah, or Sharn? Mm -hmm. yeah. Steve and Sharn are both present. They're sort of helping prepare the 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 um, dinghy to. Uh, disembark off the ship. All right, as they are, um, do either of you, um, have, have either have either of you ever met Saugus Van Fleek? Is there a, a description we can get? I mean, because we're, we're about to walk into strange territory looking for someone we don't know. No. Yeah. Loudmouth studied under Van Fleek, but he was unable to tell us about him, as you can imagine. Yes, yeah, right. I do know that this island stronghold is set up to prevent the casual visitor, so to speak. There's dangers ahead, for sure. Is there, yes. Is there a cove, um, an inlet somewhere that, that the ships may be hiding that could give us some sort of clue? Word is that the jetty is behind a waterfall. Oh. But which waterfall? is the question. Yes, the designers of the Juddy 
per Whitebeard's suggestion, have created a system where only the best pirates can gain entrance or find the correct waterfall. Yes, I don't know what happens if you try the wrong one, but I can't imagine you'll emerge alive. You mean there's traps? Well, there's, I'm, my understanding is there's a code down at the bottom of the ocean, visible and only attainable by the best pirates, the best farers of the sea. Yes, I don't know exactly how it works, but I assume you'll find it as you approach. The only it's good on news. The, it's on the ocean floor, you said. Yes, the bottom of the, of the water as you approach. Interesting. But the crystal blue waters probably give you a good view down there. Mm. Mm. My only bit of solace for you is the fact that in a small boat, they may not be expecting you to arrive. Right. Does Whitebeard have a, a boat or a vessel of his own? Of How course. Do, where, where would that be? Probably in his stronghold. Inside the island? I would assume so. <clears throat> and do you know how many men Whitebeard serves, or ser that serve underneath Whitebeard? It's quite a few. Hundreds? Perhaps. I don't, I don't know. Are they all as loyal as you are to um, your captain, or can they be swayed with treasure? <laughs> Well, let's just say Whitebeard does not inspire confidence. Yes, we've heard of many pirates leaving his service, as Loudmouth did. Hmm. And why is that? He's a terrible man. He Ooh. cuts the tongue out of people who serve him. I see. Exactly. Who inhabits the island? What? Who inhabits the island? You mean besides the pirates? Just them? Yes. Wow, this does sound very dangerous. And what should we say is Saugus Van Fleek's reason for coming with us? I don't know. I'm assuming he can be bribed with treasure. Most pirates can. Uh, just a question, just a thought I've had. Um. Do pirates occasionally, that you've heard of, arrive seeking employment with him that perhaps we could masquerade as? That's an interesting gambit. Yes, I, I know he has a large crew, and he must acquire them somehow. I've kept a wide berth from those sort. Yes, there's a reason we're on the tardy plunder. Perhaps if we disguised ourselves as pirates, that yes. would be a way to enter in their defenses? At least get them to give us a moment's, you know, hesitation before trying to kill us. It's worth a try, although I would suspect they will be suspicious of any interlopers, especially but. people that manage to gain admittance to what is clearly a stronghold for members only, if you catch my drift. I think so. Uh, do you happen to have any, um, this is sort of awkward, uh, any extra clothes? Um, pirate clothes? <laughs> I am not. What exactly are pirate clothes? You know, like dirty and torn? I wouldn't have put it exactly that way, but more, let's say, um, and I'm sort of pointing to their, you know, uh, um, so hit with a bit more salt, you know, things that look as if they've been worn on the ocean a bit more. Well. Obviously, suppose I'm... we can find something. Get what are hat? they trying to say about our clothes? Calm down, Sean. Do I look like a pirate, Sean? Seriously. <laughs> you look like a putz. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard worse, so that's fine. But you've made my Sean point. Sean speaks a little Yiddish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, two forces are good. Like I'm a sugar. <laughs> two forces are good. Uh, <laughs> 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 
Uh, <laughs> Jewish orcs. <laughs> when the DM makes himself laugh. Uh, there's one for Siv and one for Fahima. Ray. This is uh, from mm, mm, L. Mm, 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 mm. L. H. Simnire. Yes, that. L. H. Simnire. We struggled pronouncing Thank that last you. week. And ages thirteen. <laughs> ages thirteen. Yes. Thank you. Ages thirteen. I wonder if that's a pun. Age is thirteen. I don't know. I don't know. It would be if it was me. <laughs> that would be very good for a thirteen-year-old. Ages. Uh, Ages. Uh, sorry. Uh, the stuff inside Stretch Armstrong. The eighties were good to us. A Stretch Armstrong doll that looks like a mini Uggo appears in front of you. You pull his arms, but he unfortunately breaks apart, and purple ooze explodes from him. Is it good? Is it evil? Let the dice decide. Oh wow. Oh gosh. Uh, Roll a d6, one through three, evil, and I take damage. Four through six, good, and I take healing. Ooh, can I tear this open later? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, cool. Mine is called Community Chest, it's viewer submitted. Nice. How did this card get in the deck? You have won second prize in a beauty contest. <laughs> <laughs> wow. First prize oh. in our hearts, Fahima. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> second place is first runner up. <laughs> <laughs> Collect 10 gold, do not pass go. Mm. Cute. Nice. I like uh-huh. it. All right, ten gold to the party or to your personal, whatever you to prefer. Me. To me. Uh, she got negged to ten gold. She she won that second place on her own. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was uh, born with these hilarious. looks. <laughs> yeah, he was too young to catch a Monopoly reference. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not. I'm joking. I'm joking. Okay, so uh, uh, Stinky Steve manages to collect some some. Uh, Used shirts and uh, pantaloons, and uh, even a hat or two for each of you. Thank you. Uh, or for the group, and uh, it's the best you can do. They're not; these are not laundered. These are not, uh, you know, they don't smell great. They're not actually very fancy. These are discarded right. things that were actually being used as rags. Yeah. But when uh, he brings them to me, I'm gonna go to work like kind of costuming everyone a little oh. bit. So. I have I have my disguise yeah. too. Yeah. So oh, great. With That's us combined. To me, to okay. me, to me, to me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna black out a tooth on Fahima. Oh, <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> like a prize in a beauty. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> All right. And I'll keep my studded leather, like I'll keep the armor on, right. obviously, but yeah, like scar- <laughs> scarves and Hemp necklaces and such. <laughs> All right, so you sure guys uh, look like a have, have <laughs> attempted to pirate up a bit. Uh, we probably look like cheesy Disney pirates. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah, it's a bad costume party, but that's. I okay. have an eye patch. Uh, are you guys hopping into the uh, the buoy and heading out? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, so our plan is to appear like we're looking for employment. I, th- I mean, I, I think at least that could be a. Uh, so, so to speak, cover story. Well, I'd uh, like to. I'd like to try to use stealth yeah. first, yes. and then if yes, they I find agree. us, I agree. Mm. Try to sneak in. New uh, minis. Let's use them. Yay! Yay. 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 Uh, is Cla- I'm sorry. What were you yeah. going to say? Claudia. Uh, Claudia is coming, right? Claudia yeah. is coming. Okay. Have we considered that maybe what the people on the ship are telling us is the flip of the truth? It's possible. What good Might would that be. do them? They need I, a driver. I, I meant to tell main. Their, their, their main. Ad, what's the word? Adversary? Take, yes, thank you. Yes. Main adversary is taken care of. Yes, I, I thought We that. are being used and I don't like it. Well, look at this, Uggo. We're going to meet Whitebeard and we'll let him talk. If he's a monster, I will kill him and I have no problem with that. But I am not taking someone's word for that and I think we need to make sure that we are not doing that. We'll talk no to one him is first. You Perfect, thank I you. I agree. I just want to make sure that's what's going on. Mm-hmm. No, I mean... Don't always understand. <laughs> well, yes, um... Once, if we're in the if we're in the 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 dinghy now, yes, um, yes. No, I. By no means am I suggesting that we um, just take their word for it. Mm. Um, so yes, I think information gathering is probably the first um, first order of business, and then we'll decide what to do. And remember, uh, Blowhard himself said he's not expecting us to kill White. Yeah. Give him trouble. Yeah. And I think. Looking at us, I think we could probably do a good job of that. Yeah. Okay. Can I send Meep ahead? Sure. Okay. Can cause trouble, no problem. The scout, yeah. scout potentially for that code as well. Right. right so um, Meep uh, le- leaves your shoulder and goes up into the sky, uh, dozens of feet in the sky, starts flying ahead and circling around. Um, Claudiette also got into pirate gear. You wanted to have her. Right. 
be pirated. Mm -hmm. So this yes. is a, you know, a... Nauseous uh, pirate. Yeah. Uh, did you just say be pirated as a verb? I did. <laughs> okay, just checking. You're welcome. <laughs> well done. Be pirated. Well done. Uh, yes. For the, hour, for the hour there, is it possible to do a short rest for people that aren't rowing? Sure, that would be everybody but Doug, right? Thank yeah. you. I mean, this is a it's pretty okay. this is a pretty full dinghy at this point. Um, it's not meant for six passengers, so uh, you're kind of sitting low in the water a, a little bit, and it takes a little more effort to to row. Is it, he, you're still doing it solo? Yes. Okay. Let us know if it gets too hard. I'm not getting no such thing. So, because I used sending twice at the end of the of our of our last episode, so that gets my spell slots back. Okay. okay. So, got you. Thank you. So. Claudia, with a, a black pirate hat on <laughs> over her emerald green robes, she has moved from a large boat that moves a little bit into a small oh, boat gosh. that moves a lot, mm. and she is not having a good time. I can uh, to that. She is yes, she is. It, it is rocking. You're sitting low in the water. Any time anybody moves on the ship, she is turning about the same color as her smock. Claudia. <laughs> yeah. Just why don't you take a seat oh, my, and close oh. your eyes mm. and just pretend you're in a cradle like a baby, mm. okay? Just imagine. It's been quite a while since I was a baby. I know, but you, use the imagination. Oh, my goodness, uh, this is lay awful. Lay your head down. I'll, I'll take a, my jacket off and make a little pillow for her. Just lay your head down oh. on the boat. Oh, she goes Just brown. look up at the sky and it stays the same. Oh, it's stable? worse down here. It's worse. It smells and I smell boots. Just close oh. your eyes and oh, imagine my. it's something different. God, it's costly. Could you press to digitate something that smells nice for her? Yes, I find that ginger sort of helps sometimes. Oh, that's nice, so yes. I'll make her up a little a fake ginger drink just to give, give the aroma. sort of uh, senses. Uh, I wish, is the strongest medicine. I wish I could consume it. Oh my! Oh, this was a terrible idea. Oh my god! And as as the the rowing continues, it's uh, you know several minutes of her just complaining on the floor. Of Would this you like thing. some rum? Uh, the help. I, so, I fear I would not. That's the rum that knocked out a pirate, Captain Matthews. Maybe that's not the best idea. Well, maybe she's knocked out, she wouldn't be sick. Yeah, but we sort of need I, I'm gonna do, as we're rowing towards shore, I'm gonna do Song of Rest if we're we're doing this to try and like help regain her hit points by six. Okay. An extra All right. D6 of hit points. And then uh, I'll sing, I got, my, I got my flute out. Oh, nice. As we row towards the show. Shower. Shower. Oh, no. That was a tough show. Yeah. Suit, girl. Oh, I love it. I'm already speaking like a pirate. Uh, how <laughs> deep? How deep is the water? Uh, it, as you are, are sort of heading, uh, approaching the the shore, it, it it's crystal blue, so you can see quite a ways down it, yes. and it seems as if it's getting a little shallower as you approach the the island, but it's still, you know, sixty feet mm. down. Uh, I believe Katie is going to perform for us. Oh, so sorry. No, no, you're fine. That's good. <laughs> okay. Take the flute out. <clears throat> As we row our boat going toward the land, we don't know what fate's in store. White beards, men, and white beards land, we are quickly heading for. Bom, bom. Though we've bought bigger, <laughs> badder things, there's no telling what's to come. Bom, bom. But there's one thing that we must keep in mind as we face this island bum. Bom, bom, bom. <laughs> Stay together and be strong. Friends are stronger when working as one. Stay together. It will not fail. When times are tough, look to each other to prevail. Stay together, we must work as one. For when the fighting starts, it's the only way we make sure we survive this scrum. Stay together, it will not fail. And now towards Whitebeard, we all do sail. Bum, bum, bum. Well done. The last notes carry across the sea, and there's a moment of silence as you continue along, and Claudia goes, Oh my, that's lovely. <laughs> Spent much too much time with wizards and not enough with bards. <laughs> and, uh, Sometimes you just have to take your mind off of how you're feeling. Feeling. <laughs> and she kind of sits up in her seat. Uh, as Fahima, you hear a squawk. Beep! And you feel a sensation 
from deep inside you and you're in, in the back of your brain, your connection to Meep. And it seems as if Meep has seen something uh, uh, as the waters get shallower a, a ways ahead. And uh, the image that you get in your mind is something on the seafloor about 30 feet down that is, you know, in sort of the sandy seafloor as things get closer to this island. Uh, and it, it is an image of iron, an iron rail, two of them in fact, hmm. that extend quite a ways. Uh, and th they run in parallel um, along the sea floor. Al almost like a mine cart? Like a rail that you would stick a... No, closer together than that. Um, like, a, roll, like a, like a gangplank kind of situation? Or like... Uh, it would it, it would be something like two two parallel rails that something could fit in between. Let's roll knowledge history. Sure. What we think knowledge history that makes something. Yeah, I got it. Can I roll with advantage? Because me. Don't worry. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I think what? somebody just rolled a awesome, an awesome oh. plus five, so yeah. twenty five. All right. So as you hear Fahima relay this information to you, you recall reading. Nautical fiction and nonfiction in Nightstone Abbey. Yes, and plenty, plenty. Yes, it certainly <laughs> it certainly sounds like uh, something that might fit the rudder of a large sea ship to guide it into shore. Yes, I also have incon inconceivable, which is a force of evil that I had from username Eric. So I failed that automatically. <laughs> I'm very confused about what's <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm yeah. really trying to understand, but I do so, not get it. Do you know what a ship is, right? Do you know what a ship is? Lily is sitting there, <laughs> Lily is sitting there going, I really, I think I messed up that last line of the song. <laughs> <laughs> it's, fine. it's fine. This is what I've gone, I've gone uncharacteristically very quiet. <laughs> <laughs> right. James, what's that, what does that mean? Should we maybe avoid it because other ships are No, there? I think it might actually guide the way. Because, uh, if, unless I'm mistaken, um, so, large ships have what's known as a keel on the bottom. Uh, a little bit of real life stuff coming in. <laughs> as, and it's a, it's a, it's a large... You can see anything and I would believe you. <laughs> it's a large uh, protrusion out of the bottom of a ship to help guide it. And so, to guide it into shore, if you line up the keel with the railing, I assume that you're being led into, um, in, into the, inner, the inner sanctum, so to speak. Mm. And, just something, I mean, it's being the devil's advocate here is, I mean, if Meep could see it from the sky, it seems a bit obvious. Yes, doesn't it? And it does... That's not really a code, right? No. Are we looking for a code? Well, we don't know where it leads yet. It That's could, true. It could go under the island, it could go on the shore, we, we have could, no idea. But it seems like if it's set here for other ships, Lily, try to keep up with the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> It seems like we might run into Lily, I'll go ships. Both. <laughs> yeah. right? I, I, yes, it doesn't quite add up with what Sean and Steve were saying about uh, it was almost a, a test. Uh, I, maybe I should send Meep in further to see um, if there's any other... Well, let's try and get closer in. I mean, yes, uh, but, but but be careful. And I just had a thought. Should we not be doing this in the middle of the day? I had right. a thought as well when mm. we left, yes. Yes. Uh, I'm afraid we're underneath a little bit of a time crunch. Indeed. Especially what? after our conversation with Diptha earlier. I, I, I'm not feeling um, confident about waiting around for anything. Is our best bet then to... Let's get further. Be open. If we're found, yes. They take us right to Whitebeard. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. What? If, if need be. No. We're going to try to be stealthy, and if that doesn't work, then we're going to pretend to be pirates and go, hopefully, straight to Whitebeard. Yes. Hey, Siv. Yes. Got it. Does Mr. Whispers want a little joyride? Um, it depends. <laughs> I think it'd be fun. Well, I believe Lily still is holding on to him for me. Uh, yes. You've had Mr. Whispers this whole time? Mm hmm Wow. It's a little Very dangerous happy. to be on my person. Well, I think it's a bit dangerous to be in Meep's claws as well, but... Could be fun. What about on the back? Just hold on. Why? <laughs> what, what do you want to do? I don't know. I don't what's know. Your, what's the Just purpose? thought it'd be fun. Whoa. Don't birds eat mice? <laughs> Just yes. let our pets could play together, you know? <laughs> play date. Mm. Yeah. 
I don't think I trust you. And as, <laughs> literally, as soon as, as Meep comes out, I mean, as soon as Mr. Whispers comes out, Meep comes out and swoops in and grasps her in her closet, and in her closet, goes up ah, as, oh, uh, I, <laughs> as Meep, commanded. No, don't stop. And you hear. Meep. Oh. I really hope he's going to return soon. <laughs> Do you, you promise? Gentle, except for when Ooh. she breathes, uh, she shoots fi- fire from. Are her claws made of fire? <laughs> <laughs> no, not that part. Oh, okay, not that, that part. There's a long <laughs> minute that goes by, and then you see this fl- light in the sky, this flash of fire in the sky. I come back and swoop back down and drop a terrified mouse with <laughs> giant eyes back in your hands. Ooh. Uh, and the image that you have in your head, uh, th- there's there's a feeling, a sensation of just the most fun uh, <laughs> that, your, that your, your little bird familiar had. But also, you see uh, out several f- dozen feet in front of that railing that Meep had spied, there is another sort of platform in the bottom of the ocean that looks like uh, a large series of stones um, deep down that could be spied from above. Um, almost looks like a grid pattern of stones. How many? Interesting. Uh, I'll go get us closer, maybe. Yeah. yeah. How, how deep are we talking about? Uh, it's, it's about 30, 35, 40 feet down. Like a drain kind of grid like that? Um, well, this is all being filtered through Meep to Fahima, right. so it is. It, I would not like describe it as a. Shapes and stuff. Yeah, I would not describe it as a drain. It looks like a big solid slab that is has individual stones as part of it. Got it. I feel a bit weir- wary about going right over it. Um, Let's approach, and maybe we can get a, a better sense of it. Is there any way that if the sh- that if the tide goes all the way out, that it would get thirty-five feet deep? No. So this would always be over water, yeah, or correct. water would always be over the tide. Correct. Okay. Who's the best swimmer? Maybe someone could jump, could could dive in and check it out. Probably. I can swim. I, can swim. I don't know. I'm. Uh, I, I don't have much. I also experience. have this. I have waiting to exhale. I can hold my breath for a number of minutes, equal to my highest ability score. But if I speak, attack, or any time then it ends. Wow. And can't you talk to fish? Yeah. Wow, you should definitely go. Well, she But I can't speak. Right, if she speaks underwater, then the spell goes away. Mm. I'll just pop right back up to the surface Uh, before talking to fish. I'll be right back. Uh, I'll go dives into the water. Splash. Uh, Wait, you forgot Lily! All the way down to the bottom. Okay. I mean, it's... it's, a general lay like number of stones. Well, you have you guys. You guys have. I it, assume you get to the spot yeah, there. Yeah, so the, the you would row over the top of that railing and right. beyond it quite a ways sure, is, okay. are these stones. Yeah, I, I figured that's what we were kind yep. of. Yeah. Okay. Beyond and yes. Yeah. So the stones themselves are uh, they're nondescript. They're sort of uh, you know at the bottom of the ocean, sitting there in a slab. Okay. There are, it's um, like a four by four grid, okay. kind of. Okay. And um, there's little grooves on the side you can run your finger on, but you don't have a ton of air to do a lot right. of investigation. Um, what do you mean by grid? You how long can stones? I hold my breath with, is it, it, is it survival or now it's athletics? Con. It's con. It's straight con? It's, uh, I believe what the book says is your con modifier is a number of is your number of minutes that you can hold your breath. Hmm. I'll buy that. I can look it up if you want. I don't know it offhand. Or it's like everyone gets ten, 10 equals one, and then your con modifier is like total number of minutes, which seems like a lot. But I should have looked it up before this. But I, I mean, modifier this seems is right. real live. Look at that. <laughs> 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 Two weeks in a row, I pulled out the rules. Yeah. That's bad. Because your con would be more than five right now, right? So holding see. breath, see suffocating. <laughs> <laughs> see suffocating. See I guess holding your breath dying. is kind of like. See choking. <laughs> choking. <laughs> see choking. See Heimlich like maneuver. <laughs> see death. See <laughs> eating see too large of bites. <laughs> Hope it doesn't go down to Wow, this index is <laughs> in depth. <laughs> so he's out in front of us, and we're just. Saw him. Yeah, you guys saw him just dive over the side. Right. I'll and, grab an oar. Uh, <laughs> I'll grab the other one. <laughs> okay, thank you. Well, we're just staying in place, yeah, right? Yeah, we don't so want to can... go too far from where he is. 
No, we're going towards him though. He's in front of us, huh? Yes, I am. Yeah. Creature can hold its breath for a number of minutes equal to one plus its constitution mi modifier. Okay. Oh. Boom! So I'm, I can be down there for 15 minutes. <laughs> okay. No, you're modifier. Oh. <laughs> Third constitution score. <laughs> like, my, modifier. my modifier's not a 14. <laughs> yeah. That would be amazing. So three minutes. I have 470 hit points. <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculous. Wow, level uh, five is good for minutes? you. Yeah. Uh, three. Okay. Total yeah. Three minutes. So getting down there yeah, is going to be a, a, right, a lot of that, and drag. back up. So you, yeah, you're able to basically swim down, run your hands over this thing, okay. and get back up. So I'm confused. You said that there's a stone slab, but you also said that there was different stones. So is it several stones making up one slab? That's correct. Is there? I don't know if I can tell from. Oh, the, like a puzzled well, together slab. Were any of them yeah. like depressed or not same height? No. Okay. Is there any? I don't know if we can tell from where we're at, but is there any markings on the stones? Well, you'd have to ask Ugo. Uh, he went down and ran his hand over them and felt, you know, uneven stone, but um, there was no observable writing. I'm standing over <coughs> there at near the edge of the boat watching Ugo. Uh, grid. Six, Sixteen. Four by four. He's four under. and four, yes. Were there any no. markings on the stones? No. No carvings? Just rough grid. Hmm. Bunch of stones make one more slab. And they're heavy. They're large stones. You not picked them up. You how, want me to pick up? No, how big, how big are they? Yeah, how big? Uh, they're pretty big. Like, I mean, they're, they're yeah, they're like, like five by five. Okay. Yeah. Uh, about Almost a, like the squares on a map. Yeah, uh, uh, about <laughs> a map. size huh. I'll go. Sorry. Mm. Maybe we can try Poking them. Is it more? How far away from shore are we from like these stones? Uh, quite a ways still. Really? The stones are a, a set a ways back from these just massive waterfalls and the island itself. Jeff, I'm still staring down into the water. Mm hmm. And uh, I think I see something. And then I just fall over the side of the boat. Oh no, James! I'm gonna try and catch him. Uh, you can roll a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> Sorry, you so okay. fell. You do have advantage, uh, Fahima, from RPG Maker, but it is countered by Big Mama Nurdle. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's, doing, she's doing good work. <laughs> doing good Mama. work. What'd you get? <laughs> That's an awesome. Really? Oh, yeah. wow. Check it out, Big <laughs> So uh, as you kind of fall forward into the water, Fahima, moving with a, a, a speed you have not seen from her maybe <gasps> ever, she reaches out and grabs you with an, one arm and pulls you back in the boat. You all right? Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I... What was that? What happened? Did you see something? Did you see the girl up? I thought, no, no. Um, Were you doing a dance move? No, <laughs> uh, just had a feeling. Hang on, um, just stay there. And I go in again. Uh, go into the water? Yeah. Okay, splash. Are you diving down? He didn't even I'm take off his shoes. And I keep my head down, and I can breathe. Mm -hmm. um, uh, level five, Eldritch Invocation, Gift of the Depths. I'm able to breathe underwater, and my swimming speed is equal to my swim to my walking speed. Okay. Oh wow. yeah. Um, so as so you, we just see him. Yeah. <laughs> as, as, you hit, as you hit the water, he he stays down in there, and all of you are looking. And I, I and I'll waiting. even like wave up at them. <laughs> and you see and you see this is crystal blue water. You can see down quite a ways, and you see him actually inhale water. And all of you watch as the water. Oh, I think he's okay. Him. That's not someone who's drowning. I've seen people close to drowning, and that's not what happened. Did you give him the thing that you have? No. Is this a spell? Something that you know? I I've come, heard of a spell like it. I come back up. <sighs> Sorry. That, that was, was very, amazing. I didn't know I could swim. That was very strange. That's your first time swimming? Uh, <laughs> yes. I mean... Oh. Yeah, large like pools. Wait till toilets, I tell but... people on Bingle about this. You're not only going to have a dance hall, but you're also going to give swim lessons. <laughs> that was amazing. Kind of, um, boy, I'm like feeling around like, that was strange. Do you have gills? Oh I, my God, I do don't gills? think so, Look. do I? No, uh, no, no. Okay. Oh, Darn. No, no uh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> um, hang on. 
and uh, looking at all of them, and I cast Water Breathing on all of them. Okay. Does it do anything in, immediately in the air? No. But you, Why are you looking feel at a like change, that? you feel a sensation inside <laughs> you. And I pull you into the water. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? Just See, like body slam down <laughs> into it. <laughs> well, belly flop. Splash, Fahima's in the water, and you can take a big inhale of salt <gasps> water, and it goes into <gasps> your lungs, and there's a moment of panic, and then it feels okay, and you're able to breathe water. So you're able to cast that twice? Uh, once per day. Okay. On, no, so you on cast on up to 10 people. Okay. For 24 hours, no concentration. Wow. So everybody in the boat uh, wow. for the next day. Okay. Including um, Mr. Whispers. <laughs> including Claudiette. Including Claudiette. And Meep. <laughs> sure. Oh, okay. I don't know if that's I don't know if they want to have a creatures. <laughs> yeah, I phoenix guess. going into the water. Look, if a fire genasi is hanging out in the water, <laughs> a phoenix can hang out in the water. Um, what happens to my hair? It, am I the only it, one that thinks? It's wet. That <laughs> dampens it. We shouldn't just leave the, the dinghy. Oh, no, I agree. Someone should stay up here, for certain. Who? I don't know. Um. Reap. Um, what about uh, Ugo and I? Since those look like very heavy stones, uh, I can help him investigate, and maybe Fahima or Lily can come with us. And But if we need lifting of some sort, uh, Ugo should be down there with us. Yes? I can stay in... I can stay... Are we talking to, to each other underneath the water? Oh, we're no, still, I pop my head We're still up, buoyant, right? Okay. We're still buoyant. Like, it's still, like, we still got to swim in order, even though we can uh, breathe, it's still... If you inhale water, yeah. you will sink. Mm -hmm. What's keeping you up is the air in your lungs. Mm -hmm. Oh. I'll, I'll stay on the boat. Okay. Um, I'll stay. Well, do you two want to go first, and then we'll have some kind of... I'll go. Are you feeling okay? Just can we back see down? the grid from where we are? Yeah, I can How only far? do it every three yeah, minutes. Yeah, evidently so. you guys have rode um, rode up to it. Actually, now you can do it for the next twenty four hours if you wish. Come on. What? <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> uh, all right. I think in case there's anything that's a trap, maybe it'd be better if we have more people up here. Okay. With eyes on you, and then we can help if you get in a bad situation. Yeah, I'll yeah. stay on the dinghy as okay, well. Okay, so because... just I'll go and I. That's fine. All right. Yeah. All right. All right, so the two of you... It's a good time for you guys to think about it. Swim to friendship. the... I don't know what you mean by that. Your friendship. <laughs> <laughs> we are brothers. Think about it. <laughs> Not quite sure what you're saying. <laughs> so you, the two of you swim... You have this bonding moment under the water. I just have yeah. an awkward... <laughs> under the sea. It's like Romeo and Juliet in the under pool, the just sea. looking at each yeah. other. <laughs> uh, it's down where it's hotter. Under the water. Um, there we go. So yeah. you... Uh, 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 get to the bottom 35 feet down, yeah. and uh, you see this grid as described by Ugo. Uh, it is a... It, it, it is James, when we get to the bottom of the ocean and I plant my feet on the ground, you just see Ugo go... <laughs> in the water, so... You know. We see a lot of bubbles coming up. I smile and give a thumbs up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, excellent. All right, so yeah, he's investigated the rocks, yes. Uh, we well, haven't really... He yeah, went it was down, more of just down it. It. Now that I have, I can breathe and I don't have to worry about going back up, yep. I will, like, yeah. Let's roll investigation. Okay, I believe cool. you have advantage from Pig Stand. Nice. Thank you, Pig Stand. Yeah. 13. Oh, wait. Oh, he uh, has advantage. He does. And James, you have advantage from Twinsen. Thank you, Twinsen. Yes. That's a dirty 20. Ooh. So you guys are looking at these things and uh, unable to move them. They seem like they have been constructed at the bottom of this uh, seafloor. Mm -hmm. um, and they seem, they kind of give a little bit, but there's no moving them, there's no lifting them. Um, they do seem like they are individual pieces that are put together in a, excuse me, in a grip form, but... Um, Is there one of them missing so that if I slide one left, it will leave this? <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. No. Dang it. Oh, but I kind of wish so I'd fun. thought of that. <laughs> the, are they, are they uh, from where I'm at, can I tell if they're different colors or shades? Is there they like are all the same <laughs> shade. stone shade. Uh, I'll but they are, they are different than... It looks like they have been brought from somewhere else and put here. They're not... Different kind of stone. Yes. I'll they step stick on out. one. Okay. Uh, put my weight on it and sort of, mm -hmm. does it sink at no. all? Claudiette. Ooh, yeah. Um, would you look at this? Yeah. Down in the water? Do you see that? Oh my. Stones? Yes. Any ideas? <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> it seems to me it might have something to do with that. What? 
the, well, there's two things, right? There's rails and that. Yes, I agree. Does the railing go underneath the stone? Does it no, stop at the it's stone? Off to the side. It's much farther back. So railing then. Oh, is the railing the stopped? Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. It's a section of railing. Okay. So maybe we need to bring that up closer, is what you're saying? Oh, all the candles are lit. <gasps> Yay! Yay! Oh my goodness, the community. What a lovely moment. Uh, so we roll to find out who. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, that's a six. That's a re-roll. That's a two. Fahima. Yeah! Yay! Fahima. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> James and Ugo come. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we <laughs> gave, ourselves, gave each other the signal of up. Uh, okay. What did you see? Maybe map? Yeah, that, that that seems to be the only thing that makes sense. They're, they're not marked in any yeah, way. They cannot press. They're not, no, they don't sink into the ground. They can't cannot be pick up. No. Is there anything around it or in between? You see how the railing stops and then there's a gap and then the stones? Yes. Is how, it, how far is the gap between the railing and the stones? Quite a ways. Okay. Is there anything? I'm sorry, yes. I, I have this force of good. It's called Mr. Whispers Goes Fishing for Treasure. <laughs> Uh, which is super timely. That's perfect. Um, <laughs> viewer submitted, a fishing rod appears with a tiny mouse-sized harness at the end of the line. Oh He's already ridden what? on a bird once today. What's that? Place Mr. Whispers into the harness and you can cast the now concerned looking mouse in silence to attempt to retrieve whatever your heart desires without fear of being spotted. One time use. Please give Mr. Whispers an extra lump of bread for his efforts. Aww. Aww. So to retrieve it's whatever I want specifically to on a... attempt to retrieve whatever you want. To attempt to retrieve specifically on a fishing rod. Yeah, it's a little ro- fi- a mouse on a fishing rod and you can, yeah. you know, oh, there's okay. something to... Interesting. The idea yeah. being send Mr. Whispers into a place to try to nick something for you. Right. Got it. Mm. So like if we wanted to get the key from Captain <laughs> Blowhard, you could just send Whispers in and he would go and get it and bring it back. And you reel him back in. So right? an entire or side you, quest. You know, you're on the second, <laughs> second, floor of a, second floor of a building and you drop him. You know, it's okay. Mission Impossible. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay, I cool. Well, I don't know. I didn't write it. Now, <laughs> now oh, that's great. Yeah. That's, I mean, it. yeah. That's awesome. Sweet. Uh, Fahima, is there anything, um, could we send Meep out and maybe there's anything past this? Maybe it's a progression of, of, of clues. We have railing, we have this uh, set of stones. Maybe there's something next that'll tell us. So that when we get to the shore, we'll add it all up and it will mean something. It's some sort of, some it's sort of code. Symbolism. Yes. Maybe. Yes, we can, we can do that. But I was also thinking that maybe we should try putting weight on the, on the rock. We tried, tried that. Tried that. I stepped on them and yeah. didn't. But you're not very heavy. That was heavy as a ship. I also tried to step on it. <laughs> You're pretty heavy. All right. Yeah. Uh, so I'll send, yeah, I'll send me about further. Should we go try? She gets uh, bloop, 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 bloop. pretty dangerously close to the shore. shore. Uh, the rushing sounds of water immediately in, 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 go into your brain. Uh, and you can, you see these just massive waterfalls, the image of them. But there are no other things in the water that have been sent back to you from me. Is there a particular waterfall that we're lined up with? So railing, stones, waterfall? Uh, there are several that could, it's far enough past it. There are several that you could sort of veer towards. Yeah. James. Yes. <sighs> Perhaps once your story of uh, hidden messages. Yes. Maybe one here? Yes, I think so. I think that's what we're dealing How? with. How? Mm. I don't know. Mm. Not yet, anyway. Should we How try and touch the railing and see if that does anything? Uh, okay. Oh. James is enjoying swimming now, so. <laughs> back All right, go. so you go down and swim back. It's quite a ways, but uh, you venture away from the dinghy, which is sort of rocking there, and Claudiette is going, <laughs> uh, and you go back to where these two parallel rails are. And as you swim down close to them, uh, roll an investigation check. Uh, I believe you uh, have advantage from Jeff. helicopter. Thanks, Haley. <clears throat> I'm gonna take the grappling hook and the rope that mm -hmm. I have, tie one end on me and grappling hook the boat. Yep. And just make, like, it's gonna. That's an 18. Basically like a kite, but in the water. Mm. Oh, so you can pull it. So I can pull it. Great. This one. Um, so as you go down to the to these rails, you see that they are not simple railings. They're two in parallel, and they seem to have little wheels in in set, like casters. Yeah. Yes. For a ship. Yes. 
how how far apart are they? About the about size width of, of a keel. keel. Yeah. Right. Hmm. All right, I'll come back up. <clears throat> I, I, it's, it's definitely made to guide a ship, either it, either to guide into or, or to trap. No, I don't. Hmm, that's an interesting question. I hadn't thought of that, but it more seems like it. Maybe maybe that's its purpose now. I think its well, original I, purpose was. I it. think I might have an idea. Okay. If a ship were brought in on those casters, and there was any kind of a uh, tripping mechanism, whereas it, it would be triggered or registered by being on that rail, mm -hmm. then that might affect the stones in some way, perhaps creating an, an opening or something that they could use to get inside of the island. That's a guy who died in a dungeon. Who? Mm -hmm. Filt. Right. Yeah. Boy, yeah. Remember Filt? Oh, yeah. he got squashed. <laughs> Yeah. I vaguely remember him. Yes. The Dragon Slayer. Yes. He got horrific. Yeah, kind of squashed. That was it one of the first exactly times that you saw someone die when you were looking at them in the eyes. Yeah. Yeah, that was the inaugural one. <laughs> How long is the railing <laughs> from end to end? Is it long enough for so, a ship to so go zero, in and yeah. stop on? Yes. What? So, we could try going down and uh, enacting yeah. the some the, sort of the casters or the rail. Okay. Tr trying to trigger it. Spin it around? Yes, yeah, sort of... Um, Moving along the rail as if we were a ship. How yeah, I probably need someone else down there with me. Wide rails are there? Right. About the width of a keel. We could kind so of maybe push the... foot and a half, two feet? Okay. As if it's, um, yes, it's, uh, as if something is coming through the... Sh yes, as if something is coming through up the track, so right. to speak. Um, Argo, do you want to come with me again? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, do I think that the mall head, if turned sideways, would... Be able to trigger both. Mm, you can try it. Okay. Yeah. I mean. Okay. I I have so, an idea. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, and uh, I'll swim back down to where the where this where the track starts mm -hmm. on the opposite side. Okay. Yes. And what are you doing? You're gonna try to use the mall. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just start. gonna try to like. I'm. Uh, Siv said, "Get the wheels to trigger." Basically. Yeah. So I'm gonna yeah. try to get the wheels to trigger together, using the width of the mall to pull it through. Yeah. I mean. If it's too wide, I I'd think that I think that what would happen it would be a real co uh, coincidence that your mall would fit in there perfectly. Sure. Yeah. So your your mall can fit in, but nah, maybe there's a gap. On, you're not okay. going to get it quite right. Okay, uh, but maybe the two of you yeah, working I'll, in together. I'll, I'll hold on to yeah. one side. You hold, on, and we're yeah. like, and, and go. Okay, and you hear even underwater, you hear this, and you guys are still on the boat. Yeah, mm -hmm. looking down, which is tied to me. Oh, right. right. <laughs> so, roll perception? Uh, boat people or all of us? Boat people. Uh, who's rolling? Siv, you have advantage from Siv the Shiv fan. Yay. Uh, Fahima, you have advantage from Fixer 314, but it's blocked. Uh, countered by uh, the Sheik yeah. Booty. Oh. And Lily, you have advantage from Big Mama Nerdy, but you have a uh, counter from Sheik Your Booty as well. Sheik. Oh, Sheik. How your booty. This is uh, perception. Yes. Thanks, Big Mama. So I got a thirteen. Wait. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Damn. Okay. Eighteen. Uh, nice. Fahima, you and and Lily uh, immediately turn and hear this clicking sound, and oh, you see uh, something pretty neat happen. Uh, you see the two the the front row of stones start to uh, start to rotate. They go. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> like that. And you see. Wow. Giant coins. <laughs> We're rich. Look, if it's funny. <laughs> so they do indeed look like giant coins. Uh, they're the other side of the, the stones. They flip over, and then now there are coins uh, along that side. We'll keep going. And then as soon as you move on to the next one, they flip back. Oh. Oh no. We need to. We need a keel. <clears throat> we need an actual keel. We need an actual ship. Really? Yeah. Or something that's going to keep them compressed, something to keep them weighted down. Huh. Mm. Flute. Uh, well. You did that before. I don't know if that. Jam it in in a robot. Place. We would need a lot of flutes. A lot of flutes. She has quite a few. Yeah, I mean, you have. I have a bag of spares. Um, how how big are these? I'll ask them when they come back up. How big are these casters? The triggering mechanism. 
They're about the size you just made with your hands. They're about so this they're big. Pretty big. They're pretty big, but they're not. Does it require a lot of pressure from them to actually? No, it requires it? them rolling them. So there's just four of them on each side. Yeah, but you roll them and then you let go and it pops and you know, it like rolls back. It's not possible to like hold it up in position to hold it there. You could probably do that. Yeah, you could hold it in position and hold your hand there. What if? For that, I guess. We took the oar and lodged it in there between the two of them. We it still would be need getting rid of. Well, you could conjure an oar, I guess. I could. One of them. What? We We're going to need all four at the same time, right? Like a ship, if a ship comes in, it opens up all four at the same time. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. So that's the intended way to use it. Right. But we also, it might just be a map. So we could just trigger them a set at a time as long as we can see what the mm -hmm. end. Mm -hmm. If we continue on to the be. second one. Mm -hmm. Yes, OK. Let's continue yeah. on to the second one and yeah. let's continue to yeah. reveal it. So it's a, a yes. few feet down and yeah. you are doing the same thing, you guys dive back yep. down and you push the second set of casters. And I'm just remembering it was gold, silver, silver, silver. Yes, okay. Yeah. What, for real? Yeah. I thought it was just Jeff's random coin. No. Pay attention, Fahima. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the second round. It goes. Okay. Okay. Gold, first one was gold, gold silver, gold, silver. gold, silver. Oops, I'm sorry, I did that backwards. Oh, oh no. But the first one was gold, silver, 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 Correct, right? the top left is gold, everything else was silver. Silver, gold. Okay, so that's correct, silver, I apologize, gold. that was backwards. Gold. Got it. I love puzzles. Next one, Jeff, next right. one. Uh, yes, we'll move, we'll move on. So that goes off? Mm-hmm. And then you swim a bit, go to the next one. I don't know if I'm gonna allow you to write stuff down. You're under the water, uh, right? Okay. It seems it's like a cheat, doesn't it? Yeah. A little bit. Well, she can write stuff down. She I'm can write boat. stuff down. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> look at my paper. Thanks. <clears throat> Don't tell Jeff. <laughs> well, you guys would have to come back up anyways. Right, right. We'd have to go, this is what we saw, and then you'd go back down. Yeah. And you know what? I specifically oh, okay. have cartographer's right. tools, so I'm pretty good at taking this information <laughs> down. Nice. Yeah, that's right. Is that it? Okay. So there's over here. Okay. Huh. On to the fourth and final, then. Fascinating. We have to figure out the final one? No. Oh, no. Okay. He's, Give me a moment. <laughs> he's, it's dramatic pause. He's building that. tension. That's <laughs> <laughs> what I do. Mm. Huh. Boy. Um. So one gold, two gold. No, that's not it either. So you guys are down there holding these? Yeah. Okay. The only other thing I could think of is, you know, it would be the entire ship that goes through. There's no way they could just touch certain things when they're docking, so. Really hope I didn't screw up. <laughs> you guys that's made, not you guys made so do on all of us. Well, there's that's a line opening. here. It's just flipping over and showing. A Correct. Oh, snap. A line diagonally. What does that mean? I come I back know. up. <laughs> he, figured, he figured out the lock last time, like, instantly, the riddle. Well, He's there's really an good. X of silver, 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 and gold, gold, gold. gold. It's an arrow. Oh. Yeah. It's an arrow. Gold. The gold is an arrow? Look, yeah. Oh, hell Remove yeah. Remove the silver. Right. It's an arrow. Oh, yep. baby. Jeffrey Kanata. <laughs> Yeah, right, Morgan Peter Brown, you figured that out, <laughs> split. So, right, but what does that mean? I want to give it's the... pointing us in a certain direction. The effect to the camera. Yes. Wow, did you plan this out that we can only get one row at a time? <laughs> You're so smart. We go back. We could have done it the way where we go back, we, we tell them get to, to get the tardy plunder and bring it in close. <laughs> oh, Lord. We need to roll a 25, uh, <laughs> 25, uh, what is it, um, intimidation check to get them to bring <laughs> so it. So now that we see an arrow, can we see which uh, waterfall it's pointing at? Is it yes. pointing at a specific one? It is indeed. Beautiful. Wow. Amazing. <clears throat> Amazing. Well <laughs> done, James. Uh, well done, all of us. So, you never did see this image. I'm doing right. this for the for right. the cameras, but this is the the message that was formed on this grid of stones at the bottom of the ocean. If the keel went through this thing farther up, it would reveal 
the direction to go for the correct waterfall. It reminds me of a word search, which is, again, things I used to do in the library late at night. Anyway, no, I'll tell you later. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, you now seem to be indicating a specific direction to go to hit what is very clearly a distinct waterfall. And there is, is there any land on either side of the waterfall where we could, like, uh, put the boat up on land for a minute, or is it right into it? It's right into it. It is. It is as if this waterfall. Sheer stone. It, it, it is as if yeah. There's sheer stone on either side, and then a waterfall into uh, the ocean. Into the ocean. Uh, yeah. So we probably have to sail right through it. Yeah. Right. We have to go inside of that. <sighs> we did get a force of good. Yay. Uh, for Ugo from Cunning Flex. Mm. Oh. It's a new name. <laughs> Hello, Cunning Flex. Hello, Cunning Flex. <laughs> Um, it's like a dex dexterity flex. Yeah. <laughs> dexterity strength. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cunning flex. Yeah. Uh, or I have an idea, because um, because the we don't boat, need the boat. The boat feels very obvious. It is. And uh, we could stash it somewhere. We could stash it somewhere, tie it off somewhere, and the, the group of us could um, swim in. Could swim. Could walk in really on the on the floor of the ocean. Yes, yes. I like that idea. Uh, this car is called Diet Free Araban. <laughs> you are submitted. A delicious brain of an unknown species drops from the sky. It must be a gift from the Lord Araban himself. Eat it to restore 10 hit points. Nice. Um, I guess it just plops into the... Gross. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <water. Brains. laughs> And I just... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah Ugo was literally the best person to have this <laughs> The only person that went, I definitely should eat this. <laughs> <laughs> this feels exactly right. This, this feels is for. right. <laughs> Not no. <laughs> Not the first time. Not the first time. All right, so what's the plan? So I'm I'm scanning the, after uh, James's idea, uh, I'm scanning the side of the beach line or the coastline. Is there a place for us to stash or hide our boat that's somewhat near tie that off waterfall? Somewhere. We could tie it off or... You know. Well, so here's the thing. If you, the, the waterfall is cascading at a, at a pretty intense rate. Right. Yeah. And it's causing a lot of kickback. Yeah, right. so it would be far away. But on either side of that, hey. is there like a little... Right, so you could probably go, uh, you know, swing to the right or to the left where there is sheer wall. Mm. So the idea here is that there's something beyond the waterfall, yes. right? And it, and it is as if the waterfall is forming a gate. Mm. So you can, you can uh, park your, or oh. try to anchor it somehow uh, on either side. Of the rock. Uh, yeah, but it, there's no purchase to disembark how, onto something right. or... Right. How far is the walk from where the, this arrow is? How far is the walk? Or the, the waterfall. Yeah, it's, uh, it's still quite a ways. Hey. Uh, so the idea here is, you know, just to spell it out specifically, is that a, a ship much larger than this would come and have to line up with this keel Mm. And to go where it's going to go. So there's quite a bit of, of runway yeah, yeah. for a large ship to then change course and make its way to the island. Uh, how long can I breathe underwater? All day. So why don't we take boat back to ship and then walk there? I think maybe having the boat... Uh, well, we're going to need something to bring Saugus Van Fleet back in. Um, I think it's probably a good idea to keep it nearby for some reason. But what if you took your, gap your grappling hook stuck it in the wall, maybe a hundred yards or something from the waterfall. We leave it there in case we need it. Mm, yeah. And then uh, as we, as Siv and I were saying, we just walk on in. Means we won't have grappling hook inside. That's true. I, I, I have a uh, rope. Okay. So grappling if, hook? if I don't have a grappling hook, so we could use something else to pin it to the wall. I, I do one. have... I could also um, Eldritch hmm? blast the stone on the wall. No, I, I have spikes and a hammer. Oh, okay, oh, just spike it to the wall. Oh, yes. okay, great. Yes, a climbing yeah. kit. Right. Wonderful. Great. Uh, so yeah, hammer, we'll, hammer and spikes. Great. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take it like a hundred yards to the right or left, whichever mm -hmm. one seems uh, calmer. Right. And tie it off. But yeah, this is going to be good for you because now you won't be in a boat. You'll actually just be one with the water. Oh, why? Well, I, I should have done this a long time ago, I suppose. Uh, so, <clears throat> thanks. Fly, fly. You guys fly. tie off this boat. 
Or you're tying it off sort of with the, the grappling hook on the side? Or no, with no, the I'm hammer. I'm going to take a, a spike, spike it into the stone itself, yeah. and then tie the rope around the spike. Right. So you guys are a ways away from the waterfall, but you still feel this force of water gushing down, mist hitting you in the face as you're hammering this thing into the, into the side of the rock. It's kind of refreshing. <laughs> How loud you want to talk. Uh, but, um, uh, I mean, it's, it's also loud. loud yes. This yeah. thing is gushing. Uh, and you manage to get it secured. The, the boat is kind of hitting against the right. side as it's pushed from the, the force of the waterfall hitting the water. Um, I'll, I'll take another spike a little ways down on the back end of the boat and hammer that in and then tie a rope off on that end so that it's up against it. So okay. it's not yeah. looping around. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So now the boat is secured to that side area. Uh, is this off to the left or the right of the waterfall? Whichever seems less, like is there... I, is there another waterfall closer to one side? Whichever seems Yeah, left. there are yeah. more to your left than to your right. The arrow sort of pointed you off to so the... So then on the right. So yes, on okay. the right. So on the right side. Okay, great. So having done that, now you guys are all... Claudia, it's like, I didn't know if I should have even come on this. <sighs> we I'm, might need you to be able to make a hasty retreat. Uh, quite. I offer This is my not hand. my area of expertise, swimming and breathing water. I offer <laughs> my hand that, to kind of help her into the water. Uh, She's uh, Lily. human, right? Mm -hmm. No, she's an elf. Oh, yeah, right. She has an elf. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, Lily, would you like help me uh, uh, get her in the water? Absolutely. Yes, yes. Yeah, and she sort of Come on in. sits on the edge and <laughs> I just kind of swam flops before into an hour ago. And yeah. now I'm I've to be never swum in my life. Well, <laughs> my first time goodness. for everything. She plugs her nose. I don't need to do that, but okay. <laughs> breathes in water. Huh? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Uh, and, uh, Which sounds very weird underwater. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, so the, all of you are, are now just kind of going yeah. to, the, to the bottom. Yeah, I'm, I'm it's much shallower here than it had so, been. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna leave some stuff in the boat that should not get wet, like my extra rope and bread and stuff like that. Okay, so it doesn't get damaged. Your mouse? No. Uh, he has I, water breathing. I, want to keep him there? Well, What's well I, I, I would like to test that, so I'll take him and just kind of gently put him in the water. He squirms, yeah. squirms, and then <laughs> breathes water and looks at you with terrified <laughs> mouse eyes. And then I'll, yeah. What a day for Mr. Whisper. <laughs> yeah. uh, that should be the episode do? name, actually. It's, it's, it's a pity Mr. Word. Whisper's Big, Big day. day for Mr. Whisper. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a kid's book. Uh, Meep's just like a little ball of fire uh, flying above us in the water. Okay, so as you guys go in, Meep is going to stay out. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. So is she going to fly through? Uh, she's going to keep through the waterfall. Yeah, that's uh, a that's a big bright flare in the sky. Uh, yes. Wait, I, so I'm, I'm, I'm just asking you if she's going to stay out of this. You outside. guys are about to walk underneath the waterfall. Yes. Correct. She should stay. Oh, maybe I was confused about where we are. I thought. Okay, so we're up close to the waterfall, and there's a up. giant surface with water cascading down. It's kind of creating a gate uh, across this wide berth of stone, and, and you, have tied, you have tied you have tied your boat off to the right, hundred so yards this, off to the yeah, right, on, off to, off on the stone area. That's a sheer face where there's a waterfall blocking your entrance. And now the plan, as I understand it, is that everybody's going to go to the bottom of the water and walk underneath this waterfall. Yes. Oh, so okay, me, okay, me okay. either have to go under the water with you or fly through the waterfall to follow you. She should not do the latter, mm -hmm. <laughs> or either. I mean. Um, Meep does what Meep, Meep can stay on the boat for now. If we need her, she can Meep, come, out, come in. Meep, I think you should come under the water with me. We have a force of evil coming out of the cauldron. <gasps> oh. What? Coming out of the cauldron? <laughs> oh. Oh. Ah, ah, it's glowing it's so much more green. ominous. <laughs> Came out of Milo's bowl, evidently. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, Milo. Uh, so that's a six. I will reroll. It's a three. Hey. James. Hit me with it. Force of evil. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> hit me with your best shot. That'd be a funny. Force of evil just hit hit us. Did we okay. did we brand the cards? This anchors away. <laughs> like these are all perfect. Um, Amazing. Viewer submitted. It's weird how this stuff works out. So this was a community yeah, card. Uh, this was out of Milo. Milo's bowl. Okay, got it. Yeah. Um, hmm. uh, a magical anchor and chain appear and attach to your leg. You can only move five feet per turn <gasps> in the next battle. Man. Oh, in that's the next sad. battle. So yeah. it doesn't affect you until battle. I guess. Someone hit him, so we're in battle right now. I guess. No, you don't want him to do it right now, I don't no, think. We need him to move now, but yeah. when we get into battle, that be means right. we're not going to be able to run. 
Okay, so Ouch. this. Well, so Meep, Meep is not going to go under the water with me. Um, given her, given what she is, she is full of curiosity and she is often unaware of dangers posed towards herself and excited to learn more of the world. Mm. So she's going to uh, go through the waterfall above the water. Wow. She's going through the waterfall. Okay. Mm. <laughs> she doesn't want to go. She's a phoenix. She doesn't want to go to the water with me. Yeah, that's, well, she that's doesn't have to right. go with you at all. She yeah, can stay she out. Can stay here. on stay the boat. Be the <laughs> oh no, me wants to come. Okay, so she goes under the waterfall. You hear a hiss <laughs> as uh, she's extinguished momentarily uh, and flies out the other side of the waterfall out of your view. All of you are now sinking down into, into the water, the water yeah. and um, and walking on the ocean floor, which is actually shallow here. It's actually rising up. And you, as you walk underneath, you see this massive amount of water just cascading down and hitting the Probably surface above you. Still, yeah. yeah, and it's, you know, it's really cool. You're underneath this, this waterfall and, and the, the sand underneath you rises up and comes up. And as you kind of get to the surface of the water and peek your eyes out, like Rambo. <laughs> you see... Is Meep okay? Oh, it's now. <laughs> I'll get to that. You see a, uh, a, a giant cove of sheer rock face wow. that looks as if a ship has been parked in the rock face itself, jutting out of it. There is a rope bridge connecting that ship to a dock with stairs down. There is a crow's nest there uh, with a pirate standing in. You know what? Let me just show you. <laughs> oh, oh, <my> what? <laughs> yes. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Whoa. What? That is that huge. Is it's a big. We're really thing. testing the limits of the table this week. That is a big old map. Oh, ah, I'm lost. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, wow. It's even perspective on it. Whoa. That's a word. Oh, it is kind of. Yeah. It is beautiful. Cool. Wow. Okay. That's our future. Oh, like the ship is like stuck in the rock. Yes. Wow. Wow. Almost like the ship built into the side of the. Oh, cool. Sheer stone face. Like a hotel. Is there um, sunlight, (laughs) or is it? No, it is. What hotels are you staying? (laughs) Like a cool, like tourist hotel, (laughs) you know, like we're a ship. Style. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't run any successful Is there shafts of sunlight coming in from above? <laughs> Indeed. Well, there are. There is uh, light illuminated through the... Uh, yes, there's shafts of sunlight coming in from above and illuminated sort of through the ripples of the, the waterfall. waterfall itself. It's dark, but it's not... But it is lit. Um, okay. There is... I see. Crow's cave. A pirate yeah. here. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, I don't like the look of those. A pirate. Those cage things? Yeah, those are crow's cage. Those look like Christmas ornaments. What is, does that mean something? That, it's where you would Here. put a prisoner. Cool. So in those you see remains. Okay. Oh. Um, you are coming in... Oh, you said the right side, right? Yeah. You're coming in here and you see uh, a lot of shouting and activity as the pirates have spied a baby phoenix mm. that just got extinguished kind of sputtering and spinning in the water, and they are shouting and running excitedly. This guy... Did uh, she hit the water? Hmm? Did Meep hit the water? She had to go I mean, through. She, she went through it, but did it, like, force her down into the water? No, she managed to, to recover, but she is extinguished, and she's fluttering like a sort of a blackened bird wings with bits of fire trying to reignite. Cute. Uh, these Bad. two <laughs> pirates are going to attack her. Pew, pew. I have advantage from Maze. Are they shooting at her with arrows? Yep. Yeah. Uh, what is Meep's me? armor class? It is 12. <laughs> Except uh, Ugo's gonna pull out a t-shirt can and make it 15. <laughs> nice. You sure? Why? Okay. That'll give us away. Yeah, I mean, you're yeah. going to shoot mean, a shirt from the water. <laughs> you don't yeah, let's not. No, I mean, I, hey, I you mean, want to do it? Uh, I, I pull it out, and then I realize, no, not worth it. <laughs> okay. Not worth it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, so there's uh, a shot. Do you have Meep with you? you have the oh, yeah, I've got meep the f- mini? flying Meep. 
Okay, Meep came through here. No, she's still on my mini. What are you talking uh, about? <laughs> uh, this guy runs to here. This guy scurries down and is, is on his way over here to try to get a better shot. They're very excited about this. Why would they try to shoot a baby bird? That's so evil. Uh, it has bits of fire trying to fire. reignite itself. And uh, you think they think that was cool? They miss. Well, they're they're on a wood ship, and it's a burning. Creature. They miss the first time. First arrow flies past, but Meep is sort of disoriented and flying and trying to reignite herself. The second one hits her, mm. and she takes three, <laughs> five points of damage. Ah! So she's an egg now. Nope. I'm gonna use my force of good that I've been saving since episode 11, uh, called You Shall Not Pass. Protecting your friends is the greatest strength there is. Shield one player from attack, but take damage yourself. I'd like to use it on me. Okay, so the arrow hits her. Uh, unbeknownst to them, though, it doesn't affect her, and you mm. feel as if a arrow hit you lodged in your chest, mm. and you take five points of damage. <gasps> ah. uh, this, this one can't understand why his arrow didn't fell this bird. He starts shouting. Oh my hey! god. You, hear, you guys are sitting in the water. I'm you know? awakened uh, mine to Fahima because we're under the water. Yeah. Um, oh, we peeked our heads up. Yeah. Oh, we did peek our heads up. Tell her to, tell her to leave. Tell her to go. Uh, I, uh, I, can you? Meep, Meep is of her own accord going to dive down to me. Dive, dive down water? to you? Uh, into the water. Into the water. Just down into the water. Okay. Like straight down. So, because she can breathe underwater because of the spell. Yeah. Yeah. So the bird again is extinguished and under the water. Can I, at this point, start really booking it and swimming towards? Because we're over here, right? Yeah. yeah. I, I really want to make it over to where that yeah, water's coming down. I don't think that's how water breathing yeah. works. You no, just, water. Get the I get the swimming speed. Water breathing doesn't increase your swimming speed. Okay. Just, okay. I'm not walking at this point. I'm swimming. Yes. Okay. Uh, my. I don't know if this counts as combat. Does my does the only move five feet? Does that kick in yet? Uh, if you guys would like to engage in this event, then we can roll initiative. I'm, gonna vote uh, I'm assuming you're trying to. They have not spotted you yet. They've yeah. spotted this bird that just went to the water. I'm 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 not trying to get into combat. No, not yet. Uh, we do oh. have some cards. Can um, I? Can I? Was well, she? She dove into the water, yes. right? Like mm -hmm. immediately after being attacked. I mean, wouldn't that kind of look like she was hit? If she's Perhaps. diving down? That may be what they think. Okay. I just wanted to, yeah, say that. Yep. Good. Yep. Because she did go straight down. Yep. Uh, we do have some cards. Let's reckon with that okay. first. Uh, we have uh, two forces of good for James, one from Twins Inn and one from, oh, excuse me, uh, three total for James, oh. two wow. for Twins Inn, one f uh, two from Twins Inn, oh. one from Radioactive Beaver. Wow, Ooh. thank you, Radioactive Beaver and Sir Twinson. And then we have another force of good for Lily, and oh, that is from Z-Man 9018. Z-Man 9018. This one's called. Thank you. Oh my god. The first force of good I just got is called Phoenix Down. Uh, <laughs> that's crazy. Wow. That is hilarious. That's crazy. Uh, You're here for not it. Planned. It's not planned. This is not planned. No, it could, it'd be impossible. Right. <laughs> exactly. And also, they're submitted Honestly, by viewers. Honestly, it would almost viewers, be right? even more impressive if it was planned. At this point, Fahima's going to send her <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. an encyclopedic yeah. knowledge. Of all the cards card. going to get shot. <laughs> uh, okay. Phoenix Down, for, uh, viewer submitted, the radiant warmth of Meep's soft down invigorates your fighting spirit. Oh, that kind of down. Reroll, yeah, I guess so. No, it's both. Reroll <laughs> one saving throw on yourself or a chosen companion. <gasps> However, Meep reverts to egg form. Oh, do not uh, use that. That is <laughs> brutal. I'll buy that off you. I'll give you all my cards. That is <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not rushing to use that anytime like soon. I Monopoly or something where you can trade <laughs> yeah. property back and forth. The best, the best time, egg. I was going to say, the best time to use it would be when she was like, just hatched yes. from an egg or something. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> the second one, you must be Dave's friend. Viewer submitted, if discovered or a stealth deception roll fails, the target assumes you must be Dave's friend. Everyone knows a Dave. <laughs> they will either forgive your clumsy move against them or not report anything, allowing you to continue your action undetected. That is Ooh, very super appropriate you know, for right now. Pirates <laughs> <all that, all laughs> named Dave. Yes. I got I choose oh, you. Dave friend. Oh, you oh, okay. Thistle Gambit Crossbow. Viewer submitted. Submitted, a magical crossbow appears in front of you. You may shoot a single magic bolt that finds your enemy's vulnerability and makes your next attack an awesome. Whoa. But it will, oh, jeez! But it will reduce your health down to one hit point. 
Whoa. Results may vary. Pain is guaranteed. Oh, wow. Yikes. I have I Choose You, but you're submitted. Choo, choo, Player choo, is granted choo. mystical powers to choose uh, any party member to re-roll a single dice. That's huge. Oh. That's so, nice. uh, Ugo, you also got a D-man. force of good. This is from Green Demon 343. Nice. It sounds like somebody that likes Halo. <laughs> yes. It is, uh, say it again, sorry, Green Demon. Green Demon, Green Demon, Demon 343. Three. Green... Okay. Uh, hey, friend. Viewer submitted. Never mind. Can I read it a little bit? <laughs> okay. Jeez. So this uh, this guy is uh, gesticulating and talking. You, the the sound of the waterfall directly behind you muffles any kind of being able to hear what they're saying. But this dude runs over here and hops in this boat and is heading over to try to find the bird that went in the water. Uh, awaken mind, get back down, get sink, get back down under the water. <clears throat> so you're you're swimming, fish? <laughs> sieve? Fish? Fish? <laughs> sieve? <laughs> A sieve called fish? <laughs> uh, you're, uh, uh, oh, yeah. Just by yourself, right? No, so, I'm following you. You got new That's... minis, guys, and I'm having a hard time. Oh, oh can I just oh, break it? Yeah. Oh, God. It's all right. It's all right. Edit, edit that out. Wait, this is gluable. <laughs> most... Edit that live thing out. Oh, that's that's where's, where's the Meep mini? Uh, it, I put no, it it's, they're so fixable. That's the good thing about it. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I'm sorry. It's I right apologize. Here. I dropped you. Right yes, thank you. Yeah, okay. Uh, as, thank when you. I see him starting to swim away from us, I that's Pick a good speed to yeah, follow. It's him. a good idea. Uh, I'll follow as well. Okay. And and motion motion uh, uh, Claudiette and everyone else to, to move. Okay. This Beep. was over here, closer right here, over here, right when she went down. Was it into the water? It was, it was around of, it was there, kind of in this area. Yeah. Okay. It like split the difference. <laughs> okay. But. So everybody is swimming toward this gap here. Yes. She's gonna start swimming too. Okay. Uh, the bird swimming. That's something. Swimming new. bird. That's a new one. Uh, it's gonna go I don't great. know. I, this bird is not gonna be able to be underwater. Um, but she has water breathing. I oh, she has her. water breathing. Yeah, she right. does yeah. have water breathing, and I see her struggling. And since apparently I'm the fastest swimmer now, I'm gonna quietly as I can. Yeah, her uh, regular speed is only 15 feet, so her swimming speed would be worse. Like be five, half five, that. Five, yeah. 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 Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to try to get over and, and help Meep. Okay. Thank you. This guy is in his boat, uh, he, which he took out of here. Yes. And he's uh, attempting oh, to find, you know. <laughs> I was gonna, I'm gonna He's head over. A I mean, it's, yeah, speedy pirate. Uh, Jeff, you're punishing us for something, and I don't know what. Yeah. I'm not punishing you for anything. <laughs> I'm giving you consequences for your action. Yeah. Uh, so, um, swimming over. Swimming over. Yes. Uh, to to so grab bad, Meep as my. Don't worry about it. No, I, I'm, I'm not bad. About, I'm not sad for you. Yeah. I'm sad for Jason. Um, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. So you're cool. you're swim super fast. Yes. Fahima broke um, instantly as well. This one. Hmm? This Fahima broke on the first oh, episode yeah. too. Okay, so this guy is going to, now, he's gonna to try to, these are blue waters. Yeah. And how deep is it at this point? 10? Shallow, yes, 10, okay. right. yes. Uh, it, it is, he's gonna see if he can see you. Okay. He's looking for the bird. Uh, I have advantage from Insane Black. You roll, um, Stealth. Uh, stealth, yeah. Okay. Do you, you have the still have the ostentatious hat on, don't you? No, I think Didn't that it, go, it was only the, it was only last. Uh, Didn't go until the next last place uh, fight. Session. I'm almost certain it didn't. Okay. Yeah, because I, 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 I stopped it at the end of last session. Were you near me? Because uh, I can cast something on you. I can cast. Um. Before you left. I will. I will. Unless you didn't communicate to me that you were going to get me. What's she going to cast? Yeah. No, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, I'm gonna guidance uh, myself. Smart. Do I have advantage? Touching my Did you just see him like touch me? You have advantage, oh, uh, although you don't need to. You, are you rolling something? Right? You're rolling stealth. 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 Yeah, you do have advantage. With guidance. From uh, Elven Rogue, or Rouge, excuse me, Elven Rouge 98. Nice. Uh, so that's a three on my guidance. It's a 12 and a seven, so it's 14, a 17. Yeah, so you managed to, uh, you know, you've got this pirate outfit on that is light colored. Grab me. And you somehow manage to cover the bird up and stay still as this boat, as this uh, pirate in this boat is sitting there right above you, looking down, looking, looking, looking for a bird, looking for a bird. There's shouting. You hear, oh, 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 oh
Are you sure you got him? I got him! What do you like to do? I'm gonna stay still I'm until he moves away. Continue uh, until I can get underneath the dock. Okay. I'm more than 30 feet and away from the I will attempt to yes, hide myself okay. from view. Underneath the dock yeah. here? Yep. Um, yeah, you're, I mean, you're obscured right. completely, right. so there's not even any reason. Well, I mean, I probably would have also swam that way. Yeah, I think we're all heading that direction. Kind of right. what Claudia we, is just blindly following all of what, you. What, are, what do we see when we get over closer to shore? Like, well, perception. the cages and what have you. Um, you have advantage from the brush of tea, but it is countered by J... Hmm. <laughs> J-O-408, I guess. J-O-408. J-O-408. Okay. Brush of, J-O-408. Brush of tea. <laughs> uh, not that good. Nine. Yeah, I mean, you can see there, there is still Perception. water coming down yeah. here. Uh, up, uh, up here past the top of these, what you can see on this map, are massive cannons that stick out. Um, and you can see inside these cages that there are remains, but with that roll, you're not really sure what what's in them. All right. Uh, does that keep going, the yes. water? This, yes. It goes, goes deeper, like there's a, a channel or something that keeps going? Yes. I'm gonna go scout it out, because I'm hoping that that's where we need to go. Okay. So that's where I'm going. Come back before you get to, well, I guess I can't say anything to you. Right. <laughs> I'm just going to look back at you, and I'm gonna do this and point that direction and start swimming. Okay. As you go through here, you can see that it leads <laughs> leads into the lair proper. Okay? We're going to oh, have to come okay. up with sign language before this whole series is yeah, done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thumbs up didn't work. Yeah. No, that's perfect, <laughs> but we're going to need specifics. S- Siv, you do have a force of good from Joker 38. Ooh. Great. So let's Underwater see scuba gear. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That would be amazing. Not not quite. Chicken chaser. <laughs> or find the elusive fowl of Fortuna, whose feathers bring luck and riches to whoever has them. The chicken runs and disappears, leaving only a single feather. Where gets 50% more gold the next time they find some. So sweet! Nice. Yeah. Who gave me this? Uh, that was Sorry. Joker, Joker 38. 38. Joker 38. Thank you, Joker. All right, so Joker. Siv, if you dip your head in here, yeah. you see the interior of the pirate's lair, which uh. is a new map. Ah, so I'm gonna go there just to mess with you, and you have to <laughs> that, that direction. Double up. No, I'll 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 come back now that I see that. Yeah. Are there obvious threats? Right as soon as we get past this point, uh, it definitely opens up into a much larger area as soon okay. as you go through there. Okay, then I'm gonna uh, I'll come back. Okay, is this guy um, still hanging around, or did he? Yeah, the back? boat is sort of. Uh, you know, just bobbing here in the water and, and rotating. He's still searching in the water. You're huddled, just breathing water, yep. huddled with Meep uh, in your belly, really, you know, in the right. cradling her. Uh, and uh, these guys are yelling at each other, continuing to yell. And this guy said, You didn't hit him! I hit him! Uh, and so this guy's like, Ah! Whoa! <laughs> She's a her, you insensitive. <laughs> 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 He uh, pushes the the boat back and is sort of dealing with re-docking it on the side here, uh, putting the the rope on. This guy is like, oh, I swear, and they're having a very heated exchange. Like, oh, I, I, I knew it here. I saw it go in. Did I get a decent look at them? I like, what sort of, um, are they humans? Are they? They are human. Okay. They are. Do the same t-shirt? <laughs> the same T-shirt. So yeah, it says I'm, I'm human. With white beard. <laughs> yeah, uh, they are pirates. I mean, these guys are central casting pirates. Uh, <laughs> scarves, billowy shirts, <laughs> knives on their hips, right, sashes. The Caribbean four extras. Yeah. Are we all under the dock? What is at this actually point? Johnny Depp? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Are we makes, under? Makes all the sense in the world. <laughs> under the dock at this point. Uh, Uggo is. Did you guys all follow? We Ugo? all followed him. Yeah. Okay. So I, I we were trying not. to kind of right. yeah, other than Sims you, right but here. yeah, but we were all trying to stay as a group. Yeah. So. I imagine that we kind of have popped our heads up at this point then. If we're under a dock, there's usually that air yep. gap. Mm-hmm. Um, and I can hear them. Can we hear them? Yes. And we just hear them arguing. They're about bickering them. and one's making fun of the other. You couldn't hit a, you know, you couldn't hit a, what is a pirate thing? A, that they a would pair, hit? A pair, you couldn't hit the top mast with your eyes open. I, whatever. Okay. Well done, well done. Thank you, thank you. I prepared all of that. <laughs> Off the cuff. Storytelling. Great. Improv. 
So, you, I mean, they're just, they're, the good news is they are you occupied. You can't just say improv. Yeah, that's, how you, that's how you do oh, improv. Oh, okay. Sorry. Blah, 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 improv. 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 Yeah. It's important to let yes, people know and. what's going on. Yeah. Improv, improv. improv. So they, the good news is they are, they seem to be invested in their own right. argument. And uh, it is it is a beautifully expressed argument full of flowery language that impresses everyone. Uh. Improv. Yeah. Improv. Improv. I'm going <laughs> to get over here and I'm going to tug on, I guess that's Fahima. Yeah. Tug on Fahima. <laughs> I'm assuming you're swimming now? Yeah, I, I'm check, I check on me, make sure she's okay. And Everyone's, I, you know, she's being under the water, I'm terrified, a bird not understanding it's, it wants to get out of this water. I know, yeah. I'm keeping her still as much as I can and keeping her in my cloak and... and well, she can over. sense your emotions, so I think at, at, a, at a point she would allow it because... Just trying to breathe deep. Yeah, okay. He's expressing it's his... calm. Yeah. <clears throat> so, what are we doing? Uh, I, I found their lair. It's, it's that way, Is inside. there people in there? Well, probably yes. But if we're going to try to find Saugus, I think that's the best way to go. Okay. I don't want to have to no, kill I... these two men for no reason. I don't want to kill anybody. Do you think there's anything about going in there like we're pirates and we've, you know... Fahima, could you own the place? Disguise yourself as one of them. I'm you not Fahima, Lily. Lily. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I could. Maybe that. You can make yourself look exactly like one of those men. Yeah. How tall were they? Normal human size. One size larger than you, so I think you can do it, right? Yeah, I can only go up one foot, so I can. Oh, go one up. foot. So they'll yeah. be. I can be four foot three. Yeah. So they'll they're taller than that. Yeah. But not by a lot. But I <clears throat> I can put on some of those heeled. Pirate boots. <laughs> lifts. <laughs> Put her in lifts. Find some stones. I'll put going is right there. Why does she need to look like one of them? She wants to go in and actually speak. Yes. It won't immediately attract attention. Or it, or at least, you know, attract attention if, if she just looks like one of the scouts who's come inside. I'm just, I'm, you're saying that? In, into the inner... The inner uh, into the lair. Yes. Is there water? More water? Can we swim in there and see before? Yes, but it, it opens up. He's telling us that once we're in there, you can, they're you can see swim us. there and see if you want. Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Let's see what's in there. Are there any All other right. very quiet doors? Out. Any other like I'm not seeing anything here on the map, but I just want to. Uh, yeah, I'll go's gonna swim and try to keep himself low. Ah, oh. another entrance over there. Oh, there it is. Um, yeah, I'll go's gonna try to swim over there and, yeah. and keep himself hidden. Okay. I'll, I'll go with. Kind of see what's going on over there. Okay. I'll pass. For, I'll pass. Um, Boy, names tonight are weird. Uh, Meep, over to you. Oh, James, thank you so much. Advantage, no, yes. I can't, you slam so You have advantage I, from... I, I'm, I'm as surprised uh, as you are. Uh, LM, what is it? L, uh, L, LH. LH. Simnire? Simnire? Yeah. <laughs> you know why I have such a hard time with that one? <laughs> are we rolling stealth? I don't know what he's rolling. He's rolling uh, perception? Uh, well, stealth well, first. Stealth first. Okay, perception. okay. Uh, stealth is not good. Not great. Uh, not great at all. Are we all going in? Or just, just, just the two of us. Okay. <sighs> Remember my song when I said we should stay together? No one ever listened. <laughs> I listened. Thank well, you. Maybe did listen. Uh, maybe. Stealth's an eight. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll look up at the cages hanging above our heads. Mm -hmm. Do I have perception? Well, if you want, if you want to do that, uh, you do. Uh, from Doctor Jekyll. Thank you. Jekyll. And. You want to roll perception on the on the cages to yeah. find out what's in there? Yeah, I'll look up there. I'll, I'll even sure. I'll even uh, send Digit up quietly to. It, you said it looks like bones and bodies. Yeah. Uh, how veins? How fresh? Uh, you roll perception, James. Uh, you have advantage from Amoshan. What's seventeen? Seventeen. I got a on perception. I got a twenty-one. Okay, so as you guys peek awesome. your heads up, yeah. you see uh, you see basically a docking area for ships to come through this hole here. Small rowboats that could go through there, and you see stairs that go up. And from the water, you kind of have a hard time seeing it. It's like a second level that goes up and past that. You do hear some sounds. You're you were rolled a what? Oh, 24. Oh. 24, 17. yeah. So you definitely can can hear sounds. Oh no, of the perception was a 21. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you hear sounds of, of of movement as if there's something or someone up there. Uh, I rolled an awesome to perceive what's going on in the cages. Okay, so it is clearly the remains of living creatures that were not human. Uh, these seem like bones, chunks of flesh. Uh, that have 
claws that have strange structure, bone structures. Huh. Uh, these are very much non-human remains. Well, okay. Fahima, do those bones or skulls or anything, can you see those? Do they, do they look familiar to you? Can I roll a... Uh, I mean, uh, I'll try. Knowledge nature, if you Yeah, or, or nature, or I'll, I'll try as well. Uh, okay. Fahima, you do have advantage on that roll from username Eric, but it was countered by RPG Maker. And James, what you have advantage heck? from <laughs> Ella and Simnaya. Where did I get that? <laughs> Where is it? Ella and Simnaya. Ella and Simnaya. You need a little one. You need a little one. It is written in such a way that I, my brain goes, nope. Yeah. Uh, 18. Ooh, natural one. Mm. Ooh, baby. <laughs> you can't recall <laughs> ever, the, everything you've Dust learned falls about. Into your eyes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, everything you've learned about creatures were when they were living. <laughs> you know, it is. It, you're actually kind of off put by the, the nature of the grizzly, the grizzly nature of what you're seeing. Uh, Ned, look at it. It's okay, it's all right. I, and you're not able to place, uh, from where you are underneath, you're not able to place what exactly what kind of creatures these are, oh. but they do seem to be mystical cre creatures of, uh, of um, bizarre origin. Sharp teeth, anything like that? Some, a Maybe. couple of them have sharp teeth. A couple of them seem to have like wing yeah, structures. Armor, clothing, oh. Uh, look yeah. away, they've passed. <clears throat> Don't look at them. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> Sorry, when what? I hear the people coming, <laughs> out, yeah. oh, okay, got it. I'm gonna grab Uggo and pull him back under the water. Okay. Yeah, I, mean, I know what it is. Okay, and I'm gonna gesture mm -hmm. back. Yep. Are you guys coming back out? Yes. yes. Sure. Anything right. new? Wings. So these, yes. this guy is out of his boat. I'll back describe up to his post. These guys are, this dude's kind of walking back and forth on his post. Lily, can you see one well enough to... Uh, <clears throat> and you guys, there's actually a... You hear this... <coughs> kind of a baboon kind of oh. popping out of a little hole up here uh -oh. and comes down onto this ledge here and is sort of walking back and forth on this, this ledge that's high above the, the hole. Cute. Hmm. Does it look like a regular baboon? It looks like a baboon with a little outfit on. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Mm -hmm. uh, we did get a force of good for Ugo from Quasarian 777. Ah, yes, Quasarian 777. Oh, wow. Uh, I'm gonna uh, explain to you what Jeff said with the other room and there being sounds of other people coming out. All right. Um, quick. Um, by Grabthar's Hammer. <laughs> Love it. If an ally is reduced to zero hit points during combat, you may use your reaction to move up to your movement speed, regardless of whether you've already expended your movement this round, and make an instant attack against the foe who downed your ally. You must shout, by Grabthar's hammer and the sons of Warvan, I will avenge you! Nice. <laughs> Good reference. Yes, it is. Good movie. It's a great movie. <laughs> All right, what are we doing? Oh, uh, I had a question for you. Yep. This, so I, it's hard to tell from where I'm sitting, but I'm assuming this rock wall is sheer. Correct. Uh, yeah, we would have a very does it hard have time. Have handholds? Like, is it cracked wall? Is or is it like wet? Yeah, it's. Okay. It would, you would have a real tough time okay. climbing it. With, a, with uh, free <laughs> solo, right? I couldn't do that. <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, even with your grappling hook, I yeah, think it would it would, it would require hard. like. Yeah, magic. you'd be this slipping. Makes and L cap look like child's play. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that flag right mm -hmm. there, what's the symbol on it? Uh, not what is shown here. It is uh, a big splash of white with two eyes above it. Cool. All right, well, white we should beard. make a table. Oh, <laughs> that's good. Makes sense. Don't Deciphering a very difficult code. We should make well, a plan. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah okay. Yes, <laughs> we should. I was being ironic. <laughs> yeah, I, I, <laughs> agreed. Agreed. So, yeah, let's. Um, yeah. All right. Well, we only have two options. We either go that way and take these two men out, or we go inside and try to sneak uh, past the guards. Do you, well, do you feel okay um, scouting in? Maybe maybe Siv can stealth behind you and uh, provide cover. Yeah, I can go as one of the pirates to kind of lead the way. Yes. Fine, which way do you want to go? Um, and I, I've probably heard him talking mm -hmm. pretty well. Yep. His voice. Um, and I can kind of see him from where I am. Yep. Head up. Um, I mean, I think we should go through the, yes. The cove. Because yes. ideally we don't want him to come with us because then it will be like he has a twin. You know? <laughs> right. Shorter twin. Right. Um, yes, let's go in. Okay. Shall we? And we will after intermission. Uh, yeah. All right. So, 
Lord Aravan is going to take care of you as we hit a, a little break. On the other side, we will see what's through the cave. We will see how well Lily does as pretending to be a slightly shorter pirate. <laughs> and we will have lots more fun inside Who White Beards Jetty. Stick around. See you soon. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> oh, boy. Mm, fear not, adventurers. Our campaign will continue after this brief intermission. Right now, it's time for us to enjoy each other's company. Okay, so the cat is out of the bag. Yes, I see you've discovered Milo's bull. Look, please do me a favor and do not mess with it. I don't know what magic it possesses, but I cannot control it. I found it deep in the lower dark at the end of a very long quest a long time ago. The time I believed it to be a great treasure of great value. Because of my very generous nature, I decided to give it to Milo as a minion feeding bull. Yes, he has a minion feeding bull. Shortly after he began using it, I noticed that a faint glow emanated from its depths, especially when he finished his meals. It seemed to get stronger the hungrier he became so. The problem is, when it glows, all right, listen, listen very carefully, my brains burn. That's right. It hurts me. I don't like it. And after a while, if the burning becomes strong enough, I lose control of myself and things happen. So, let's just leave it as is. Are we clear? Please, leave it alone. Please, I beg of you. All right? <sighs> Let's just talk about fun things, shall we? Let's talk about the show. Talk about how wonderful everything is. How about letting a fan join in for a game? What do you mean, follower of Fahima? You want to come on to the show? Have you ever played Dungeons and Dragons? Yes? Well, then perhaps we can have that happen. But I'll need to see your skill. I'll need to see that you are capable of partying with this group. I am off my diet, and I have been enjoying brains for the last many days. If I may say, I have binged sorely. I have binged to the point of almost exploding my stomach. And let me tell you, I feel fantastic, except for when, ouch! Armando, what are you trying to do? That is not what I was looking for. Are you kidding me? I just told you, it hurts me when you touch that bowl. Stop it. <sighs> Please, stop it. I do not deserve it, Siv lo Siv's love interests with multiple interests, I've noticed. Plural. Yes, life may be pain, but it doesn't have to be pain entirely. All right? Not all the time. I don't deserve... Listen, I'm bringing you this show. If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't be able to watch. So stop. Please stop it. Please, I will not ask you again. Life is brain. Good one, Sir Gage. Actually, that is very funny. Life is brain. Actually, I, write, I really like that. Is there any way that we could get that stenciled onto the back of the throne, please? Life is brain. Someone? Milo. Milo, come over here. Yes, come, come. Yeah. Life is brain. Write that down. No, no, no. Write it down in your little 
in your booklet thing that I gave you. Yes, you're still not using it. All right, you're still only making funny little pictures of me in it. Yes, great. All right, so he's not able to write that down. I'll have to remember it. Sir Gage, please draw it. That's great. Do I chase chickens? Chicken chaser. Yes. Sometimes. Not often, though. Ursa! It, it, what, are, what is wrong with you, people? Why is it is not clear that you are causing me and Milo suffering? Let me let me be very clear. If I suffer, guess what? Milo suffers. Because when I'm angry, I get angry at Milo! Stop it! No, and I will not free Milo. As a matter of fact, the more that you hate on me, and the more that you cause me my pain, I will cause him pain. Is that what you want? Is that what you want? Fine, I'll give it to you. Milo, get ready th for a thrashing! So stop it. Please, please, please stop it. Armando, that's two, by the way. No good. Not okay. Very not okay. Consistent is key. Consent is key. I'm sorry, I thought I read that as consistency is key. Yes, consent is key. True. Milo, do you consent? to every time they interrupt me using your bowl, which, by the way, burns my brains. You know that, right, Milo? Does that, do you like that? Do you like when my brain burns, huh? Do you like when that happens? No, of course you don't. So, every time you do it, me and Milo will have a little talk. Good? Fine. Done. Next, what are we talking about now? <sighs> no, do not touch the bowl. I, I, please stop it. Please stop. Let's not talk about that anymore. What class am I? I'm an illithid swift. D don't I... Ob um, isn't it obvious? Uh, don't call me Lord Squiddles. I don't like that. It's Lord Aravan. Yes. What does Milo eat? It's none of your business. I make him fresh... Gruel. Every evening, I do it with my own two hands and sometimes with my feet. Don't pan down, please. Illithid is race, yes. What did I say, my class? Oh, you asked about class, and I said race. Well, of course. I said, sorry, I said, hold on. I said class, you were asking about race? What were you asking? No, I don't feed him my scraps. I make him a very special gruel, I'm telling you. It's very good. I've even tried it once, but I don't eat anything but brains and mushrooms, of course, and so therefore I cannot subsist on it, and so I won't eat it. But of course, he's not going to eat what I eat, and so I have to make him something very special, which is a gruel, and it's delicious, if that's the type of thing you eat. Your class was asked, you're answered with race, you answered with race. Cosmic, candy, that's correct. How about this? Why not you, the audience, guess what class I am. And yes, brains are quite fatty, but delicious. Hey, what's up with your necklace today? What do you mean, what's up with my necklace today, AJ Lightning? It's always the same necklace. You know this. Sorcerer. <laughs> A sorcerer? No. Try again. Warlock, closer. Do you ever get your brain... Do you ever get brain massages? No? How does that work? What would I do? Would someone literally come to me and massage the brain with, what, their hands? Is that something that we could do? Taxing Wolf. Who told you that I was God class? No, I'm not a god. I'm not a deity, and I'm not working class. I'm not a necromancer. Barbarian, please, look at the size of my arms. <sighs> it's as if you're not paying attention. Ah, Ravenclaw. Very nice. Getting closer. <laughs> Oh, listen, lost local one. I think 
your misunderstanding, just as I did. They're not asking about my race, they're asking about my class. Hold on, I need to go on to goggles real quick. One second. I'm gonna use my feet to type it in. Best class. For an illithid. In D and D. I mean, it's just a mind flare, no? Isn't that what you just said? Have I ever played D&D before? Of course! I am D&D. Through and through. Listen. To be honest with you, I don't really know what class I am. See, I never established that. What the hell was that? Did you all just see what happened? Was that... Milo? That just ran in front of the screen like that? In front of the camera? Milo? Milo, come over here. Look at me in the eyes and tell me, who was that? Was that you who just ran in front of the camera or was that something else? Was it Jeff? Was it Jeff? The... Was it Jeff? Tell me the honest truth. It was? All right, he's allowed to do that then. Okay, good. Fine. I'm okay with that, as long as it was. Was it Siv? Well, he's not allowed to do that. No. Siv is not allowed to cross in front of the cap because he's too handsome. He makes me look lesser. I mean, Jeff is also super handsome, but Siv is like really handsome. Like super very awesome handsome. Like really gorgeous. Right, fine, I have a crush on Siv. You satisfied now? <sighs> All right, let's talk about the digital items, please. Milo, bring me my, mm, uh, yes. The, th the thing with the, the information on it, I need to read it, I don't remember. What is it called? The thing with the, the writing on it. Yes, there you go, the cue cards, perfect. All right, let me read them, here we go. All right, you can grant the gift of advantage. The ability to roll two 20-sided dice at once. That's number one. Number two, and for those of you that feel the players have had it too easy up until now, which is, of course, insane, it's not easy. Jeff makes this game very, very hard. There's disadvantage, and the disadvantage will counter an advantage. Now, if the player doesn't have an advantage, they will roll two 20-sided dice at once and take the lowest. That's disadvantage. Disadvantaged. Now, you can also take pity on the adventuring party and have a player draw a force of good card. That's good. If you want to be bad, you can then give them a force of evil card. That's bad. Now, what is something that we have all learned? After all this time, when you buy one of these digital items, you must do what? Specify which player it's for at the table. If you do not, what will I do? Cause pain, that's right. For Milo and myself. And then I will make the choice for you. Finally, it's on you. You can purchase an IOU and when you do, it will light a candle. And the rest you know. When we reach 20 candles, that's right, a force of good pops out. And there is nothing else that you can do. There's no other digital items. Got it? There is no digital item called Milo's Ball. Stop it. It does not exist. It's not supposed to be there. Nope, nope, nope. J.O., Swift, Hobo Steve, you're wrong. It doesn't exist. Get over yourselves. Listen, J. Lafette, I am in a good mood. It's just that my brain has been on fire for the past few minutes because of that stupid ball. Milo, would you like your gruel? Fine, go fetch your ball, and we'll fill it. As long as you promise not to make it glow, stop it. Don't make it glow. <sighs> cough addict three. Cough addict, cough addict? Uh, you're saying here, I want to know what the ball does. No, you don't. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything, it just glows a little bit, and it's not good for you, me, or Milo. 
clear? I don't want any more mushrooms. Listen, I'm happy. Everything has gone so fantastically. Ever since the end of this last week, I have dined on some of the most delicious brains. I feel great. So let's not ruin it with a little bit of sidetracking, i.e. bowl talk. Want some brain vodka, Lord Squiggles? Well, Squiddles. Why did I call it Squiggles? Why are you calling me Lord Squiddles? It's Lord Araban. Milo is hungry. We will fill it. I don't want mushrooms, no. Does it burn when I pee? Look, what, what kind of question is that? Of course it burns when I pee. It always has. It's normal for an illithid. Is, is it the meat of the brain or the content of the brain that makes the meal? Ah, enthusiast press. A player. I see someone who's studied the illithid. You see, there's a mystery. Everyone thinks it's the contents of the brain that cause the flavor. It's not. That's just what they tell you. That's what they like to tell you. That's what they like to say. That's what they want you to think. But they're wrong. There is definitely a flavor. All right? Humans, delicious. Somewhat savory, but delicious. Elves, my goodness, like dessert. Orcs, Rubbery and mushy and poopy. I'm not upset, Midnight Clover. I'm not upset. I'm just a little aggravated. Get it? Listen. You and I both know that it's not a good idea to mess with something that you don't understand. And you and all of your cronies do not understand. Don't tell Ugo what to do. You are not his real dad. But, ooh, Golden Dag was telling you what to do? Ugo? Well, I'll tell him what to do. Is there a lady, Araban? Well, there used to be. Unfortunately, she has passed many years back. Who plays you in the Lord A movie? Tom Cruise? Who is that? Is that an actor? Tell Milo to pan down. Milo, you mean Great John? That's how you would say Milo, not Milo. M-I-L-O is Milo. Please get it right. When are you going to fight with the players, Kairu? <laughs> fight with me? Are you kidding? They wouldn't stand for a moment. I wouldn't even need to move my eyelid. Yes, they'd be gone in a snap. Look at me, I'm gonna even try to snap my right hand, but I won't be able to snap it, I'll just be able to raise it a little, like this. Ah! <coughs> like that. Perfect. All right. One last thing. No, 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 no cameras down. Just focus on the screen as I say the following. on a place on the intranets called the dungeonrun.fandom.com. Can you remember what they are? That's right, T-shirts. Hello, we've got the Dungeon Run logo. You ever seen it? Well, there it is. Bam, hot damn. Look, rosy cheeks, pub and tavern hall. Drink your fill. Meep lives, oh, sweet and fun and fiery and actually quite dangerous. It will burn you. Finally, me. Yes, that's the best. Aaron, I saw your comment there. When's the intermission over? That doesn't make a person feel very good. This is live, my friend. I'm here in front of you. I control you if I choose. So don't forget it. By the way, if you want to get one of those shorts, again, they're at the, the dungeonrun.fandom.com to purchase. And thank you all to those of you that have shared the show. If you haven't, I ask you to please do so. Remember, I'll be joining you in the social conversation around the game. And now, it's time to rejoin our adventurers.
<laughs> and we're back. Oh, yay. <laughs> okay. When wow. we left off, uh, you guys were swimming underneath this cave, uh, underneath the water, into this cave, mm -hmm. which puts you, if you can help me out. Sure. Jessica, Jared. Uh, coming out here. Oh, from this side? Yep. Um, and <clears throat> you enter into Whitebeard's Juddy. This is the pirate stronghold that you've heard about. And you see what you see here on the map. It is, uh, there's a, a little area where a smaller, even smaller rowboat than you guys are used to, you guys have, uh, is docked and tied off to the dock. There is uh, some sort of cage looking thing. There are, there are uh, spokes coming out of the water cordoning off, partitioning off uh, a section of water. Uh, there is a bit of, of dock and some stairs that go up with uh, crates and barrels stashed on it. Uh, and then up on that second level, after you step up out of the water and out of the dock that's in that little bit of water, uh, there is uh, sort of a sitting area and a pirate who is eating at that sitting area with his back to you. All right, so I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna try and find Sargus mm -hmm. and get him out and bring him back here. Is the goal? Yes. Yes, if you can, yes. All right. Um, I guess if I'm Do not- Do you need money back. to bribe him? Go. I still have the flump bank. Oh, mm -hmm. that's a good one. Yeah. All right, fine. Yeah. Offer it to him if you need to. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm not gonna just start with that. Right. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna be right there. Anything goes wrong, let me know. I'm, I'm good. I'm going to. Uh, and if it's more than like maybe an hour, assume to come find me. An hour? Uh, I don't I, know. I don't I'll, know. It's a good I'll amount of time. I'll try to follow behind you as best I can. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, did anyone catch his name? Wh whose name? Oh, the guy that you play. The guy that you that I've now look like. Uh, it's me, Lily. <laughs> 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 no. But, um, but you know, I mean, pirates call each other, um, you know, yeah. colorful names yeah. all the time. So, so maybe just uh, what's Dave? Like, what's like the pirate equivalent of buddy? Dave. Or partner. Dave. Bastard. Yeah, bastard. Bastard. Yeah, bastard. Right. Okay. Great. That's your name? All right. Uh, all right. Here I go. <laughs> okay. So you have cast this guy's self. What's the catchphrase you came up with like three weeks ago? Bolin's the master, so use it, you bastard. That's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> Memorable, if ever. Uh, uh, the, you had cast uh, the, the sky self? Um, yes, and then with my actor feet, I can impersonate right. the man out there that I did not catch his name perfectly. Right. <laughs> uh, and does that feat require any kind of role for performance or anything like that? Uh, 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 uh. Nope. Okay. Jeff, is that a wall right there? Uh, uh, over to the right a little bit. To, who's right? Well, she went up, sorry, yours. Uh, she, she hopped went up, up on stair, this right? yeah. and, and stepped up these Straight stairs. Up, before you go up the stairs. This? That little coat. Here? This. Towards me a little bit. That, right this. there, yeah. This is, is a, this is a lower area. Yeah, yeah. This, yeah. you walk up here, there's barrels and, and crates here, and then you have to step up these stairs to get That's on. the only way up there, is those stairs. Uh, or correct. can you go around and is it ramp up there? It looks like you no. There's right. a railing here. Gotcha, cool. Yeah, and this Great. is a second level. Yes. How far? How far down is this from that level? Uh, whatever three stairs would be, it's you know it's not a full story Five down. Feet. Yeah, but it's as you know, you're stepping down into the water level, and that's. I'm gonna flatten myself and crawl into these barrels. Yeah. Okay. Um, stealth. So you uh, you the barrels smell kind of bad, but yes, definitely roll stealth. You do have advantage from uh, Ash Door, but it is countered by J O four O eight. All right. Mm. Get all your stuff countered. It's all right. Uh, yeah, Jeff, I'm gonna go up there with him, but keep myself low to the stairs. Okay. Uh, are you gonna roll stealth as well? Yes. Yeah. All right, I'll go. You have uh, advantage yeah, from uh, Depogacy. Okay. Thank you, Depogacy. Depogacy. <clears throat> so you're doing the same path, right? Yeah. Down here low? Yep. Yeah. Not bad. Uh, it is 12. Uh, 13. 18. All right. And Lily, you have just strode up being a slightly yeah, smaller go version see of the guy outside. This ding dong eaten. Okay. 
So you walk up right, right behind him, and as she's you, getting into character. <laughs> That's right. Using colorful Ding things. Ding dong is a pirate term. I'm as right. you approach, he hears a banging sound from Ugo slamming into uh, one of the crates and barrels and pushing them together. Right. He turns around. He goes, "Hey!" Ah, <coughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, three sheets to a wind down here. What are you doing in here, Eagle Fist? I'm looking for Sorgis. Sorgis? Yeah. What? Oh, get back to your post! Well, he's out there, he's on it. I need to talk to Sorgis. Why? Because I have something to ask him, it's a secret, okay? A secret? I'm allowed to have a secret. <laughs> <laughs> Roll deception. <laughs> Drama in the but pirates. Jeff, she made a good point, though. She's allowed to have a secret. Uh, uh, you do have talk uh, about the pirate code. From melodies of old. <laughs> oh my gosh! Hold on. <laughs> deception. You said? Deception. Yeah. You have She's got to have a good deception. Yeah, uh, I got twenty-five. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you have secrets, don't you? <laughs> We've all got secrets. Right, you want me to ask you all your secrets when you want to see something? No, I don't want to tell you my secrets. I don't want to know your secrets. That's another secret. <laughs> you just told me that secret, okay, so well, it's not a secret. Now it's a secret we share when we're bonded. Bonded by secrets. Yeah. It's like bug buzzers, but it's safer because there's no <laughs> illnesses we can pass back and forth. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> You know where Sargis is. You're a deep thinker, Eagle Fist. <laughs> Thanks. Of course I know where he is. You know then. where he is too. I was saying, can you point me in his direction? What? Don't, I already talked about the secret thing. Don't ask any more questions. <laughs> I got a reason in for asking what I'm asking. I'll tell you a secret I'll right now. We're both gonna get a lash in if you leave your post and go strolling into where White Beard is. Well, then why don't we get out of this body mess and leave? <laughs> you and me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we don't like that. Well, oh no, me neither. I didn't think that. No, no, oh, of course not. No, me neither. God, no, God. I just want you know the secret. Else, okay, not there's anything wrong with that. We've got two more hours of show. Yeah, 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 no, we're, we're gonna we're gonna stay good. here and watch. Um, <laughs> I'm saying, won't we get out of this body ship hotel? <laughs> what? That's a bit what, are you, what are you suggesting, Nickel? Suggesting there's got to be a better life than this. I wasn't born to sit on some nest and watch a waterfall all day as much as it's nice for the first little bit. Can you? It, it sounds to me like you're suggesting. Yeah. Mutiny. In sub Mutiny? <laughs> Mutiny? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what has gotten into you? Oh, sorry. Listen, I've told you I'm like three it. sheets to a wind. I've had a bit to drink. <laughs> You're drinking on the job too. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only way to get through the body day. Listen. Any of this talk gets round to the guys, you're lucky you're talking to me. I, I like you. I like you too. We <laughs> talked about it. We're secret brothers. No, I thought we were running off together. <laughs> not, not like that. All right, no, no, me neither. I just, uh... <laughs> I don't know what you want, and I want you to get back to your post before Listen, somebody else comes out here. I don't want a lashing. You don't want a lashing. Okay? No! So let's do this without the lashings. I'm eating my breakfast and you're talking it about great. walking into white beards and showing them you're not at your post. No. You're gonna get yourself killed. Is Sargis in there? Of course he's in there. What are you thinking? It's almost time. Well, where is he gonna leave? When is he gonna leave? Well, he has to come out sometimes, right? You don't stay in there when it's close to time. You gotta leave occasionally. What is, did you bump your head? Listen, I got something really important I need to talk to Sargis, and I'm trying to see him without seeing Whitebird because I don't want another lashing. You're about to watch the fight. Of course he's in there. They're all in there, and you and I are out here because we are the people who are at the bottom of the bloody food chain. So don't wander in there and get us both killed. You're crazy. I'm not going to bring you into this. Don't you worry. I'm a good friend. But you're walking right by me. What do you think I'm going to think? Your back was turned. You were eating this chicken or whatever it is. <laughs> oh, <thank you> so <laughs> much. I mean, it's chicken of the sea. <laughs> oh, oh, Obviously. Yeah. What else would I mean? 
What is going into you? What is going into me? Yeah. <laughs> you think I'm an actual chicken? What is it, a bomb? Okay, listen. I'm we're very confused right now. Off the rails. <laughs> okay. So while she's causing <laughs> this <laughs> so Can we hear all of this? Can we? Yeah, can well, we, you, they, these two. yeah we're, we're probably Can we, uh, can I essentially poke my head up? I just want to see what's this black stuff. <laughs> what's this black stuff? What's beyond the black stuff? <laughs> I what's cast darkness on stuff? all of it. Sorry. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> so you can, yeah, you can definitely see down this way is a is a uh, pathway. For the monkey king. Hey, yeah. Who's in the fight today? What? You know? What? Remind me. I told you. Our three sheets to a win. This rum is very strong. You gotta get back out in the front. Is bloody Tom by himself? Yeah, he's fine. What do you mean he's fine? He's dumb, but he's bloodthirsty. No one's gonna get past him. Ickle, I, I don't know what to say to you right now. You're gonna get us both killed. If you wanna go walking in there, I'm not gonna stop you, but you don't tell him we had any kind of conversation. I would never do that. I'm trying to know who's in the fight so I can know when I can go in and out. It's still out no one... where we captured, of course. Well, no one tells me anything up there. I thought he might already be dead. <clears throat> Listen, I feel stupid about it too. Well, I'm glad I'm not the only one over here. You're not. I'm here with you. Why do you think you're the only one? We're together right now. You can see me. But you only want to be together right now, right? <laughs> want I just to, want to be clear. I want to be very clear too. <laughs> what like, you guys doing? I've got nothing wrong with that. Katie and I are going to start a uh, I was gonna touring say. company. <laughs> this is breaking my heart. <laughs> the, thing, the thing is, the thing is, is that sh she's standing here, right? Yeah. And he's talking to her. Correct. So he's looking our right. direction. Yes, that's correct. Do anything. There's, there's okay. literally nothing we can do. Uh, I will. Uh, you said this is a cage. Can you, can you message that to <laughs> No, it's exactly as it looks. There are spikes coming out of the water that are cordoning off. Uh, oh, they're cordoning swallowing. off something. So I'm going to stay under the water and swim closer to it to see what it's cordoning off. Okay. I don't like that look you just gave me. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what, what you do. What does cordoning mean? It means it's locking. Sectioning it off. Yeah. Uh, like a fence Partitioning it looks, off. That looks suspicious, so I'm going to get a little closer. Oh, as you, the, the water is a, is a little murkier here as if it has, if it's, it's dirty, sure. as if it has more... Um, you know, like bits floating in it, right? right? Yeah. And as you get up the the you get up to the sides of these bars that come from the bottom and go up past the level of the water, up as spikes. And you get up to the surface of these bars, and as you do, two beady eyes come and giant jaws snap at Whoa. you at, in the front of the the uh, the cage. It's a shark. Uh, no, uh, <laughs> it is not a shark, but it is. Actually, roll. I can see in darkness. I mean, is it like right. one of those fish that we, the one that we caught? That yes. Oh, the lobster fishy. It's thing? got the got the claw got the yes. claws on the bottom. Does he react to that at all? No, I don't think he. It's under the water. I don't think, and he. We are in a spirited yeah. conversation, yeah. to say the least. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, army crawl over to here, and I'm gonna gesture to you to come, to me. Careful. As I'm laying flat. And you guys okay. can hear all the stuff about the fight and everything. Right, right, right. What's what's uh what's nauseous doing over here? She is uh, oh terrified. Right? She's <laughs> back up against the, the 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 ground. She's she's watching you all do this, and at, you know above the water uh, as you guys first came in here. She said, oh, "I know I'm a wizard, but I'm, I'm a scholar above all else. This pirate lair stuff is not not my bag." Invisibility. Yes. Oh. Yes. Okay. Uh, does it have a verbal? It doesn't matter. I'll whisper it. You kind of poke <laughs> your head above to get it on him, probably too. Anyway. Yeah. So I'll, I'll hang my arm over the the side so that you can touch me if you need to touch. I me. do need to touch you. Great. All right, we're gonna do some cards real quick. Cool. We have three of them. Oh, wow. uh, one for James, a Thanks. force of good from Quisarian seven seven seven. Thanks, Quisarian. And we have a, a good and an evil for Lily. One from Odvar is the evil, and the good is from Twinzen. Odvar. <laughs> How's it feel? Uh, mine is called Meep's Disguise. Viewer submitted. Out of the amulet appears an, a small one-time use bird costume, <laughs> which will disguise Meep into any other type of bird of similar size. Oh, we could have used this earlier. Yeah. Requires a DC 13 insight check or a DC 11 investigation check to reveal Meep. So not super oh, high, yeah. but if detect magic is running, those checks get a plus five. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Well, okay. we could still use it. I mean, par- isn't like a, a parrot? Oh, a so when, if detect magic as if we were in Turles, I see. Well, or anybody's using detect. Magic. Anybody else? Yes. Okay. I got a bag of unfavorable treats. You were submitted. <laughs> A small bag of candies appears, and you can't resist eating one for 1d4 turns. For each candy you eat, take 1d4 damage. Also, the player that ate the candy has bad breath, giving negative one charisma checks for the rest of the session. Oh. It tastes good, though. So, how does, how does a, a... 1d4 turns. The sky's self drop if you take damage? Uh, no. No. Okay. And it's not even concentration, is it? Uh-uh. No. One! Only one. That's good. Uh, so I'll just take one <coughs> before damage. Give him some of the candy. Also one! All right. Okay. So... But uh, I have bad breath. You, you, as you're <laughs> standing there, good, you, you feel something grow in your pocket, and you reach down and you pull out this candy, and you looks delicious, and you pop it in your mouth as you're having this conversation mm-hmm. with this pirate. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and it immediately hurts going down. <laughs> and he's like, oh, what? Are you all right? Oh. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, what's your force of good? Uh, Granny's morning after drink. A mug of Granny, a mug of Grammy Dumblestuck's famous morning after drink appears. Drinking it heals you one d four and cures any one condition. Nice, that sounds really wow. Nice. Great. I don't think I'm gonna use it on the this. No one bit. condition be bad breath. <laughs> <laughs> but I think really? as a pirate, I kind of want that. I mean, <laughs> it exactly. helps sell it a little more. Yeah. But it does give you negative one on charisma checks, which true. is what you're doing right now. That's true. But she's already rolled. She's already passed. Uh, so, um, um, yeah. what's happening, guys? What are we doing? I cast visibility on Siv. Okay. You pop out of. Tell that I'm not visible, right? That's right. Anything Beautiful. you're carrying, of course. Beautiful. I'm going so pick to up James. <laughs> pick up James. So he, you're carrying him. <laughs> so he's invisible too. No. Okay. No, sadly. All right, fine. Uh, I'm gonna slink through these bars and make my way down this way, just okay. so I can scope it out. Okay. So you wander down this uh, hallway. I guess and I can stand because I. Yeah, now you're out of sight. Right. Uh, and you see that this is a corridor that curves up and around. Any markings? Uh, are there lots of tracks? Is there anything I can go off of as far as what this chamber or hallway could be used for? Uh, there's definitely lots of tracks. There are lots of uh, footprints and even claw prints. There is, it looks like things have been moved through here and lots of people have walked through here. Okay, so it's well-traveled. Mm-hmm. All right, keeping to the wall in case somebody walks my way so they don't smack into me, mm-hmm. I'm gonna go all the way down here so that I can look around, look both directions. Okay, so you see uh, this way, you see sticky note. <laughs> sticky note. Hmm. You see a made of offices. <laughs> a sheer cliff's edge down to more water. It's where we saw the baboon. <clears throat> and um, the, this continues up and around as you. Uh, what's your passive perception? Uh, nine. You do hear some sounds around that corner, but you're Great. not sure what they are. Can I just look around the corner? Mm, sure. Uh, you are invisible. Yes, uh, and you see a dog. Sweet. That's perfect a for a tabaxi. <laughs> oh gosh. A little dog. A dog. Is it a dog? Chained up or anything? Nope. Just a dog. Yep. One Regu- through. Regular yep. dog. And it starts uh, sniffing the air as you come, as you mm. stand. It starts sniffing at you. Turning around and booking it back <laughs> the other way. Okay. I smell a kitty cat. All right. Um, hmm. Well, you're still, we're, we're still yeah, having I'm this. Gonna, okay, becoming aware of like how long this has been, I feel like, <laughs> if, uh, is there a table where he was sitting? Like he turned mm-hmm. around, did he stand up when he turned around? Was it, mm-hmm. oh, yes. So I'm gonna go around now and like sit down at the table kind of with him so he kind of would sit back down the way he was to turn his back. Uh, right. Here. Uh, Echo, get back to your post. To how me. many times have I got to tell you? I know, you've already told me lots. I'm hearing it just the same. Here's the thing, I got word from a little birdie that if we can get Sargis off the boat, there might be treasure in store for us. Now, I know it's dangerous. What? But Sargis what? drives the blooming boat. I know that. Uh, with great risk comes great reward. I mean, you ever <laughs> read that? What are we risking? Our lives to yes. get Sargis out of here? And to get us out of here? Why, how do we get treasure? When we go out of here, there's a boat, a bigger boat, that's going into the deep reef. 
what, what do I want to go to the deep Lehman Reef? I God, told you there's there. treasure in there. You're going to die in here from whipping. Only because of you. Nuh-uh. <laughs> right, what are you guys doing? Uh, is that, what's, uh, that's a small shack in yeah. the upper right corner? Yeah. Shack? Or there in the Yeah, this is a room with a closed door. Okay, got mm. it. Uh, I just realized I still have Dufo Him's uh, stink bomb. So I'm going to turn back around. Oh, nicely done. Um, and I don't think it counts as an attack to just drop something. Because I'm not attacking anything. No, yeah, yeah, you okay. can drop it. So then I'll drop the stink bomb here <clears throat> so that Mr. Doggy hopefully uh, right. bails. It runs up and smells it. <laughs> runs Beautiful. <laughs> Way to ninja, Siv. I will mark that off. <laughs> uh, I've had that since the beginning of the game. Um, uh, and then I'm going to continue going that direction so I can see what the dog was guarding. Okay, the dog. Uh, comes around this side here, and you see it return. Where is it? Where did I just put it? I just set it somewhere. Uh, you see it return to its master. Ooh. He's standing here, and he's like, what is it? What is it? What is it, sea dog? What? What's wrong? Mm. Are you all right? Oh, God, what is that smell on you? Oh, my God. Um. I know it's risky, but I want I want to see what's down that way, so I'm going to hit this corner <clears throat> to try to look through that way. All right, and you can see uh, an entrance into a much larger chamber that probably connects to that. <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to head back. Okay, listen, is there a way for me to get in there without getting seen so I can try and talk to Sargus? You want to get into the fighting arena without getting seen? Yeah. Well, they're all sitting around People waiting for People look at me like we're crazy, but... You what? are crazy! We're body pirates, that's what we do! <laughs> You're crazy too! That's what brings us together, okay? So stop saying things like that, like it's a new idea! Now, when you say brings us together, you don't... <gasps> oh, right, I'm don't sorry, I keep getting anything, stuck on that. Okay? Um, I feel like the two of you are auditioning for a Rolling Stones biopic. <laughs> <laughs> well, we may be. Stop me up! <laughs> uh, so, um... Liverpool Pirates. He indicates... Just you go around either direction to get on the main... No, there's no way to get in there without being seen. I don't want to cause any trouble. I'm trying to be... You uh, are causing trouble! You're causing trouble while yelling at me. <laughs> Can okay. I use them yelling to get up to here? Uh, let's roll stealth. See okay. if they can hear you. Add advantage because you're invisible. Beautiful. You do. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, Invisible. Uh, Inquisible. Uh, do 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 twenty-three. Yeah. Yep. So you manage to get up there without making much sound, even walking up these wooden steps. They don't creak as you are light-footed, cat-like. And you get up here, and this is uh, a. Uh, it stairs leading down to a door. And is is that like another door to the left? Yep. Two uh, oh, two man. doors and doors. So there are, uh, there's a room to your left, a room to your right, and big double doors in front of you. All right. Going down to the big double doors, and I'm listening at the door. Okay. Roll perception. You do have advantage from Battle Turkey. Thank you, Battle Turkey. <laughs> Oof, man, 11. You definitely hear sounds through there, muffled. Like uh, people. Thumping. Thumping. People, yeah, there's definitely sounds of, of commotion, but you're not able to pick anything out specifically or identify any particular sounds, is but it, it is. loud, like people yelling or just talking? Uh, it, 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 it's not super loud, uh, but it, you can't really make out what it is. You can't even tell if it's human voices or what. Mm. 11, you rolled an 11. All right. Is the door locked? It is. Oh, man. <laughs> Jeff? Hi. Uh, Hi. I'll go. Gets a little bit of a word from James. Uh, and I got 40 feet of movement. So right up next to Sid? Pirate. 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 No, he's yep. going to jump him. We're going. Uh, it's yeah. happening. Yep. Knock him out. Okay. Yep. Knock him out. Let's roll initiative. Hey. 
quiet about it. Uh, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Actually, if you, are you trying to are you trying to sit behind him? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm not trying to be upset. I'm not trying to be loud about it. Okay, let's just let's just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't even roll his initiative yet. Then if you are, let's roll a stealth check and see if you can stealthily take him out. Regular advantage. You do have advantage. Lily sees him coming though, right? Huh? Lily would see him coming, right? For sure. Yeah. Uh, okay. Are you using your maul? Uh, to knock him out. To knock him out. I was going to try to like grab him. And check I'm going to get up and no stand behind him. him then. Okay. 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 And behind okay. Uggo? No, behind the pirate. Put myself in between the two of them. Oh. You're going to try to put yourself in between Uggo and him? Yep. He's going to turn around. Yeah, I mean, it, it, yeah. I'm gonna yeah. say, wait, I got something on you, and I'm gonna like kind of get around, like, uh, oh, you got something on the back of your here. Hold on, just stay right where you are. Let me. I feel like you're trying to protect him from us. Yeah, so, but I'm not like behind him. I'm like, like kind of like giving him a hug. Okay. I'm, like, I'm so so. There's a table between you, or uh, you sat, I guess, like, on kitty corner. On so I'm kind of going next to him and putting my arm around him and being like, to fr- like, stop like, the, the, like from this. Stop doing that. So I'm I'm putting myself close to him and okay. I'm like, here's the deal. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're sending me very confusing signals. <laughs> oh, no. All right, so uh, I'll go. What did you roll? Uh, 14. All right. So you uh, come walking up here on planks. Yeah. And the planks squeak as her arm goes around him and he definitely hears movement and he turns and spies yeah, as you. As soon as that happens, I'm going to try to grab him around his neck. Okay, roll a strength contest of yeah. strength. Uh, you do have uh, advantage from Eagle Eye, one, two, three, three, two, one, but it is countered by Odvar. I have advantage from uh, Rezoian, but it is also countered Oof. from Amoshan. So straight, um, straight strength yeah. contest. At 20. Oh. At 20. Confirmed. Uh, At 20. Yes! Beautifully timed. Uh, go. So uh, go. he's going to sleep. He turns around, he, you grab him, he, you grab his neck, his eyes bulge, he looks at you. I'm not trying confused. to kill him. Yeah. Not trying to kill him. Yeah, you, you, uh, you, you've got him in your sway. Cool. Uh, so he's, you know, are you I'm trying to keep squeeze? him from. I'm trying to keep him from speaking okay. and essentially sleeper hold him until he goes. Nat 20, that's happening, cool. right? So he, and he rolled a two. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so he is. This poor guy. Yeah, he's squeezed, squeezed, squeezed his head face get red, his eyes bulge, he looks at you with a, a questioning And I'm trying to fear. like pretend like I'm trying to help him. And he him. sort of falls, <laughs> oh, he falls limp in your arms. Cool. He's limp in your arms. Uh, what are you doing? James told me to take what him. Are you guys doing? I was getting information. Shh. What more information? Okay. We don't have that much time. Well, that way? He, yep. was, he was in a position stopping us from any sort of progress. Okay, okay. so I guess. I'm we'll, sorry. James, you agree we'll probably climb out here? Yes, yes, yes. Get up here. Um, check, I'm gonna check that door is that locked which door uh that door yes that one no um <laughs> what you see uh Siv, as you walk down to the yeah. other area yeah. is uh, a- another room it's not the word i wanted but it's the word i got chambers? Uh, yes chambers much better uh and there is a wooden stump that looks like a work area with what appears to be pieces of an old mast that have been sawed in half or sawed in sections and it looks like an active work area uh and there is a table uh, farther down right. past that area and uh some stairs leading up uh to a a second level and this oh. is all like a big open area, right? Because yes. there's essentially no doors except for that one right there. Yeah, there is a door here. That led out. Yeah. That no, leads out. Lead out. Oh no! It's a, it's a door to a to a chamber. There. Got it. <laughs> oh the. Okay. Yeah. Um, and Ooh, I'm saying we'll s- set him up. Huge. Set him up uh, as if he was uh, passed out from drinking or something. Just sit him in the chair. Lean him against the wall. So, so if we're not here when someone comes by, they'll see him and maybe they'll think he's drunk. Are there, is there like liquor or beer around where he's at? Absolutely. There's. Uh, he, he was sitting down for breakfast. There are drinks. Pour and, it on his chest. I mean, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah I'm gonna pour it on him, like on his chest, okay. and into his mouth. Okay. And don't drown him. Oh, careful. Make sure. He, make sure. Yeah. He <laughs> it, yeah. Make sure he, he it gets into him. Right. Uh, as much of it as he'll take before. Yeah, don't wake him up. Don't. Yeah. Wake him up. Right. All right. Uh, I'm gonna and see then, if he does wake up. Yeah. <laughs> right back down. Mm-hmm. No, he okay. does not. Uh, and then I'm, yeah, I'm gonna lay him where the liquor is in his lap, and he. All right. So he's sort of in the back corner yeah. here, just yeah. like passed out. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna come back around the corner and be whispering 
Uh, so I don't know how much of you, you guys would be able to hear this, but I definitely think Lily and Ugo would hear this. Uh, did maybe. you try that door? Not yet. Okay. Uh, sorry, did you want to do that first? Uh, no, I was going to actually wait for you to do oh, it, or okay. Lily. Uh, I'm going to whisper and say, this place is massive. I have no idea where Solgus could be. And I describe briefly this hallway with the dog and the dog's owner and this other workstation area over here. Lily. He's in getting ready for the fights. What White fights? Bear. They said the fights of the people that they captured. That's oh. what they said. So there's a fight happening and everyone's in there to watch. That's probably so coming. Assume... That's probably, uh, you can't see me point, but I say that's probably coming uh, through that center chamber there. The doors are locked and I heard uh, loud sounds. If I could see Saugus, if we could find out where he was, I could send him a message. Uh, like I, I talked to uh, Diptha and tell him to meet us and tell him that, that what we're here to do. And he could just walk out with us. Well, they didn't seem very convinced that I could walk in there without raising some red flags, but I'm willing to try it. Mm -hmm. I just, I think I'm gonna have to have a reason for leaving my post mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. ready. Oh, uh, by the way, by the way, uh, be careful of that. And pointing down uh, the, one of those nasty fishes down there. And I assume it's being held down there to um, uh, drop unwanted people in there. It's very gross. I have, I have an idea. Okay. You could tell them about the Phoenix. Me? Yes. Mm. Use that as a reason to go and speak with them, and then perhaps at least look into the situation. And if uh, worse came comes to worse, you can uh, ask for reinforcements and bring more people out. It's a really good idea. It's a good idea. Mm -hmm. All right. Siv, wherever you are, Siv. Yes, I'm <laughs> right here. I'm pointing to this door. Uh, uh, could you, could you maybe put your head in, and, yes, I'll, and I'll back away, and I'll back away, make sure that I'm not in the. the is it locked? When it opens. No, no. Um, I'll. I'm not going to do a deep search, but I'm definitely going to make sure that there isn't any like obvious traps, trip wires, anything like that. Roll it up. Okay. Uh, you do have advantage from Ravenclaw '93. Sweet. Ravenclaw. Uh, Twenty-four. I love Ravenclaw. Yeah, you do a, a fairly ser <laughs> thorough search of this ser this uh, door, mm -hmm. and you do not come up with any traps. Okay, I'll open it and see what's inside. Okay, so you swing the door open. Another sticky note. And <laughs> it is a storage container that has barrels and crates. The crates, several of them, are full of living creatures. Oh. There are very odd looking strange creatures in these cages, huh. and the barrels are sealed uh, behind them. Do the barrels smell like those other ones smelled? Uh, which smell. other ones? Uh, you said those smell bad, I believe? Yeah. Uh, these, well, if you want to go in and look, check them out. Yeah, if, do, if there's nothing, yeah, 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 we'll go in. Okay, uh, so as you go in and, and look inside, you definitely see these look like barrels of feed for animals, and not humans, uh, and they do smell bad. And these crates, uh, there as you enter, there's some kind of uh, squawking and, and ruckus from a couple of creatures that are s stuck in them. There's at least two crates with creatures that seem to be dead. Aww. Oh no! When you say creatures, like these are creatures that we've never seen before. They're not like well, you can investigate. You can yeah. Roll I'm just saying they're not like chickens they're or dogs. They're correct. like weird, these are bizarre, fantastical, fantastical okay. creatures. Nature yes. or uh, investigation uh, or yeah, roll nature. Okay. Can I do investigation? Sure. I, that's that's better. I mean, Fahima, <laughs> I, I don't know if they've. Have you guys communicated to her what uh, you've seen? I'll, I'll say, yeah, I'll say yeah, Fahima, I'll, I'll come I'll over here. Okay. Those creatures. The minute I, I see, know, yeah. I know how weird obsessed creatures. she is with creatures. Yeah. I will call Fahima. Okay, you guys can roll knowledge nature. Okay. Yeah. Eighteen. I also want to. Oh wait, do I have? I want to search him. Yeah. Okay, just give me one second. Yeah, sure. uh, so, Fahima, you have advantage from Twin Zen, but it Yay. was uh, countered by Eagle Eye. One, two, three, two, two, one. Oh. And James, you are also doing, you have advantage from Z Man 9018. Thank you. But it was, <laughs> no. nope, not for him. <laughs> nope. wow. Uh, Ooh, not and good. Ugo, you are searching him. Yeah, just searching. Okay. Oh, wait, no, that was. You can scanning. roll an investigation on him. How long? Uh, you have uh, advantage from Azimus. Azimus. 14. On, on, on knowledge. <clears throat> on nature. Did you do? I, I rolled uh, 18 for investigation. Um, what are you looking for exactly, Fahima, for inv your investigation? Um, I wanted to see if I could identify the creatures. Okay, between the two of you, as you kind of put your heads together, uh, it does look like. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 
there is one creature that you would recognize as being something you've heard about called a narlop, another. and another that's called uh, a chickcharney. Fascinating. The narlop is um, covered in fur and it has whiskers on its face. It's a small creature, uh, and um, it, it, it's 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 very tiny. Almost looks like a boggle. It's it's got long fingers and elongated uh, body parts. It's um, do they it looks very scared. Do they look emaciated? Do they look mm -hmm. okay? I'm yeah, the Chickcharney is more like um, uh, an owl. It looks like a three foot tall Aww. owl. Wow. It has three toes, two slender arms with three fingers and a prehensile tail like an opossum's. All right, I'm gonna open one of the barrels and take out some feed. Okay. Yeah, and Toss same. it into the cages. Is the yeah, narlop a water animal? Uh, no. Okay. 15 on the search. Um, you are able to come up with 15 gold coins uh, and a dagger. Uh, he also clearly has a scimitar that he had taken off to eat and it's laying down next to him. Um, okay, I will pick that Do up. Cla Claudia. Can you, can you do a portal? Is that hard? <laughs> it's, it's quite. <laughs> Would it be too hard to portal him back to our ship? Well, I could, I could do that, but I need a long rest between portals. Okay, well, we'll wait then. Only do one. Don't do it. I don't want to leave him I, here. No, I, I, I We don't have a lot of time. No, that dog is going to eventually get over Dog? What kind of dog? A regular dog. Oh, okay. <laughs> Um, but I think we may have stumbled across a way to give Whitebeard a problem. What? If, he's, if these are his trade, if he's looking to sell these to make money off of them or something, we could, um, we could take them. Set them free? Set them free. Could, could they could certainly cause a distraction. We could take them with us. Do these look like parts of those other creatures that we saw, like, put together, or...? It came Those out. Those like what humanoid you, The sea monster creatures sea that monster? had all From the claws yeah. and stuff, yeah. Oh, no. okay. oh interesting. Did they and they don't look like what was in the cages outside. They, they there are there are qualities that remind you of that those things. There, there are these are a variety of okay. fantastical creatures. It doesn't look like the exact same ones you saw outside, but they are of um, of a category. Shh, don't worry. We will save each and every one of you on our way out. Siv, I think you should keep scouting. Uh, yes, that's what I was going to do. I'm gonna go over here and make my way. All right, you, as you walk over there, you definitely hear sounds of work being done. Uh, and there, it's from coming from up the, up the uh, stairs here. I need to cause a distraction. There is a lot of wood, Fame. Mm-hmm. Um, this, there's... You get what I'm saying. There's a, a lot of um, <laughs> noises of banging and sawing. It's, it's someone is clearly working up there. Can I just like take one step up and just peer across the way so I can actually see what? Yep, you're still invisible, right? Right. What did you say was on that table? This table? Yeah. Um, it's like a dining table. It has plates that's and the work silverware. Bench, and that's... Yeah, this is a workbench. Right. <clears throat> and he's just like banging. He's working. Ass so he's the, applying more planks down here and this area that is dirt and cut out from the cove, he's laying these planks, cutting wood, and seems to be, um, you know, putting down the wood floor that you're walking on okay. in the other areas. Uh, so he's just putting flooring in? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I guess that would be a so much easier way to <laughs> Just a general contractor putting in hardwood flooring? <laughs> There's a door here, right? Correct. Uh, I'm going to keep going because I want to see what's over here and what's through that doorway. Yeah, this is uh, a Oh, that's the other chamber that entrance. Be the entrance All the way back. Sweet. Have. Yeah. Sweet. Careful, though. That's, there's, there was guys near that. All right, so there is a force of good from Icon Z1 for Lily. Yeah. I got stuck. Icon, Icon Z1. Icon Z1, thank you. Stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> The next time you are damaged by fire in combat, you remember just what to do. You stop moving, drop to the ground, cover your face, and roll around to put the, out the fire. This reduces damage from the fire by half, and you move 15 feet. Uh, if an enemy is within 15 feet, it knocks them prone. Cool. Nice. Jeff? Yeah? Those barrels in that empty room right there? Right, Who is that room. from? 
This this room? I can't see one. Yeah. 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 I'd like to go in there and look in those barrels. Okay. So where I'll go to here next to the right. oh, yeah. he's, he's still prone. So these barrels, uh, it is clear to you in contrast to the ones you never saw the ones in the other room. Mm-hmm. But these uh, these do con- seem to contain rations and human food. Rations like that I can just take. Well, yeah, you pry open the barrel and you it, it's, you know, gotcha. rations maybe is the wrong word, gotcha. but it's you not know, like hard sack supplies. rations. Yeah, got gotcha. you. All right. Um uh water? Yes, fresh water. I sure. dump it out. Okay. Uh, Spills and splashes yep. down. And, uh, uh, uh this guy, This might appear to be odd. This but... guy stops uh, sawing for a second and walks to the edge here and peers down. Hello? Mm-hmm. Hello? Uh. I'm gonna start creeping closer to him because I have no idea what you're doing. So, mm-hmm. take him out if you need to. You're at the bottom of the stairs, maybe? Uh, I'm gonna wait to see if he actually comes down. So I'll be back uh, uh, like a f- five feet. I could jump on him pretty quick, so I'll, I'll give him a little distance. <laughs> so water has seeped into this sail, and I mean, there's quite a, a giant barrel of water is quite a lot. Right. So. Uh, is, is he coming down, or is he just going to hang up there? And he's talk? looking. He's thinking. Um, he's taking a couple steps down the stairs. He's looking. He sees water trickling. Can I hear him yelling from where I am? You can all hear him, yeah. Yeah, I'll, t- I'll go around the corner. Okay. Talk to him. <laughs> all right. Uh, ignore it, you stupid drunk bastard over here. Puncture the barrel. I'm fixing... trying to work! I know, I'm fixing it. Just don't tell anyone. And he goes back up. Nice. All right, wherever this fight is, I think it's up uh, those stairs. And now it's personal. I have a, <laughs> what I'm sure is very stinky and smelly, uh, left over some monster. I'm gonna cut them up and throw them in the food. Ew. Wait, what? You- I'm ruining the rations. Yeah, yes. yeah. Yep. Oh, you. Ha- oh, you're b- the bits of the- Making problems room? for Whitebeard. Yeah, right, yeah. yeah. Good. Yep. Okay. So Criminal you warfare tactics. Right. Yeah. <laughs> maybe the very orcish. Maybe even the the bottom of your mall. Yeah. It just in. trying to. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. Which monster was that? Which one? That you said it was bits of. Oh, there's. Monster. I. I. Every monster we kill, I take bits with me. Mm-hmm. You never know when you might want to poison someone's food supply. Hey, you know. <laughs> <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Right. Oh yeah. So like, there's some head of uh, <laughs> of the cop brew in there. Yep. There's yeah. All right. So All right. Uh, what what are we doing now? I want to start. Uh, Moving towards the door where you have all said that the fighting yeah. is happening. Yeah. And that door's locked? That yes, I, I would have told you that, yes. Yeah. Meep is hiding away in yep. my clothing. Okay. All, all right. right. I'm thoroughly confused, so I'm going to go back to Lily slash impersonated pirate Ickle. thing. Ickle. Um, I don't know what the plan is, <gasps> but stinky smell. Oh, there's, uh, I think we, there's people all around us, so we better move. Yes, there's there's a way to escape out that way as well. Well, do you, I need to still get in there. I need to. Right, I think you need to. I think you should. I think you should try to unlock the door, and uh, uh, our pirate friend um, should walk in. Right. This is what I mean. We're they here may for. they Let's may go. be upset, but it's it's something. All right. All right. Well, I'm gonna tell him that I saw Phoenix. All right. Great. And that. Yeah. Fahima Don't tell it. Pick in the lock. Name. All right, watch out, Fahima. <laughs> All right. Ding, ding. Uh, you have advantage from skull cap. Sweet. Yeah, I'll go. Are you still there? Yep. You, have you come back? Oh, okay. Are you going up here? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 25. Nice. 25. You are working on this, this lock, and you are hearing thumping on the other side of the door. Boom. Boom. Like drums? Boom. No. Like someone hitting the walls. <laughs> 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 And you hear a little click on the door, and then poof, poof, and it reverberates right in front of you. Uh, Is it the arena? <laughs> <laughs> How does the wall look in front of it? Is it high? Uh, go around? It, it, yeah, it, it goes all the way up. Yeah, it's a solid door. So it's so it's like a high, like 10, 20 foot high wall? That's correct. Go, go back and... Do you want me to open the door or no? Well, I'm just wondering. <laughs> and as you're talking, if it's a, you if it's hear a locked door, then this door click open. <gasps> okay. And Sagas comes out. <laughs> <laughs> no, but a different pack. A guy with a with a name tag that says, "Hello, my name is Sagas." <laughs> and he walks out. Sagas. He doesn't see. Sagas. Well, what? I I'm trying to get in, but I forgot which door. You're getting it. 
Get back to your post. What's wrong with this door? This is the door we brought the owl bear in. Why are you crazy? Ooh. I always forget because you always will relegate me to the front of the building. That's All right. Bad. Get back to your post before I take your hands. I've seen something. I need to tell Whitebeard. Then go tell Whitebeard. I don't care. I, I forgot which door I'm We're telling him because I'm always at post. What? Which door would I get to him? I can't. I... Go around like the rest of us, you blaming bastard. I was trying to save some time. There's an owl bear right in there. Get back in your bedroom, uh... wherever it is. Wait, Prepper the fuck! He slams the door. Two souls. I'm immediately locking the door <laughs> as quickly as I can. I'm probably shaking so I do it. All right. All right, you all. There's an owl bear in there. There's some tiny creatures who are emaciated. I am showing great restraint right now by not shooting a fireball at that door. You're doing a very good job. Okay. <laughs> here's, here's what we know. Uh, they're using them. They're using it's a, them. It's for the glad, like some sort of like gladiator. Yes. All right. The two of you should work. The two of you, uh, uh, Lily and, and Siv, should work in in you know conjunction with each other, going around. Um, Lily being the distraction, uh, talking, and, and Siv continuing to scout, Fine. seeing as much as you can. Wait, right, hold on, Fine. but you guys need to be quiet out here. Yes. People are hearing you and you're just walking around, Absolutely. okay? I'm taking her by the hand and pulling her that way as she's talking. I'm going with him <laughs> willingly, but I want you guys to be quiet because if we come back and you're not here. I will I will uh, get uh, Claudiette and I down closer to the water, if need right. to, to kind of keep, uh, yeah, like down there, yeah, just right. to sort of keep out of, out of eyesight. I want to um, keep feeding the creatures. I feel like so this she's, was a, so she's mistake. In, I feel like this was a, a grand mistake. It's okay, it's gonna be fine. <laughs> uh, and Fahima's still okay in there. You have no idea. <laughs> feeding the creatures. So you're going up. You're you're going to here. Yeah, well, I want to go past that guy. And yeah. be like, he's I got, working. I gotta get to Whitebeard. I gotta tell him something. We're splitting the party, y'all. He yeah, doesn't well. even look up as you walk by. He's hard at work. Good job. All right. <laughs> you come around. <laughs> You come around here, <laughs> walk in, walk in, walk in, just the two of you? Yeah. I like your shorts. <laughs> the two of you. All right. Walk in, walk in, walk in. And. This is more, Lily, stop it. <laughs> you uh, walk here and you see. Uh, Quite a sight. Fight it, bit. Whoa. 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 It's beautiful. Owlbear. Is so scary. <laughs> Is that how big they are? Is it a white owlbear? Uh, it's quite bigger than the ones they're, you may the size be aware I see of. white it's hair and white facial hair on a mini. Mm -hmm. It's the size, I mean, it's at least the size of a ah. hair. Ah. Mini down, mini down. That looks Gosh. like twice the size what of a motley crew. Bear. Which makes sense. It's magic. <laughs> right. But they're nice. I mean, grizzly bears <laughs> get pretty huge, so. All right, so you come strolling in here. Okay. <laughs> uh, and you see this sight of a whole bunch of pirates. I assume you're gonna stay kind of by the door there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A whole bunch of pirates looking down into a pit with this incredibly large, injured creature, this massive owl bear. Oh. The thing is half bear with the face of an owl. It's feathered uh, and its legs have fur and its eyes are beady and it is bleeding from the mouth and from scars and slashes on its arms and torso. And it is uh, slashing and slamming into the walls and, and there all these uh, pirates are laughing. <laughs> and they're having a great old time in here. Is there anything in the pit with no. the bear? Not yet. Oh. So what? It, it's just doing that damage to itself? No. Oh. It's been pre-damaged. There... Okay. Maybe, yeah. Maybe you should let it out. What? <laughs> maybe you should let it out. So as you guys stroll in time. here, uh, <laughs> you're just gonna walk right into this room, right? Uh, hold on, so I'm gonna, I, can I like kind of see around when I, like I can get to there and kind of like pop my head around just to see who I'm looking at. Like, who yeah. do I see? I see white beard in the middle there. There's definitely a, a very large man, the big belly, and this enormous cascading beard that's white over the top of his belly. It goes down past his kneecaps. Wow. And he sits in this big chair in the center in the back of this room, looking down on this pit where this owl bear is. To his left is uh, a, 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 a turtle. 
uh, a um, man who has a shell uh, on his back and sits uh, in, a, in a chair. It looks like there's long sideburns, white sideburns that kind of go into whiskers on this turtle's face. It is a humanoid turtle. Uh, and turtle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and there are uh, a number of motley pirates all, all around. There are two on each side uh, sitting in the stands that are at the back of this room. Jeff, while I'm down here, just quickly side thing. We've seen these beasts. I think we have start to have an idea. Um, I'm going to start ritual casting speak with animals. Mm. Okay. Uh, yep. Down here quietly. It's going to take me 10 minutes. Okay. Uh, but yes, okay. Okay. Uh, and as you walk in, these two pirates definitely take note of you. And uh, and then they kind of look over at Whitebeard, and Whitebeard turns at, uh, to you and goes, Oh! Huh? What are you doing in here? Oh my god, that's the voice. <laughs> love it, love it. Go with it. Ah. <laughs> oh, sorry, dear. Why aren't you at your pole? I know. <laughs> Something's <laughs> happened, and it's a bit weird. <laughs> What's weird? A I'm phoenix. I'm about to enjoy my entertainment. I know, Whitebeard, and I... I respect that. You know that. I do all about. Listen, a phoenix has flown through the waterfall. All right? A phoenix. A phoenix. In these water. I know. I know. <laughs> it sounds crazy. Believe me. I know. And but, what did you do? Well, we shot at it. You shot at it. And I think we got it. But we found, uh, you know, when it fell into the water, it we couldn't find it anymore. And why are you telling me this? Because it was a little flag. Don't laugh at my beer. <laughs> okay. Listen. It was a little flag that said Sargis von Flick. You're telling me. Huh. A phoenix flew into our waterfall. Yes. I know it sounds crazy. Why would I come in here without that? A flag that said. Sogus. Like a banner. Yes, Sogus. I thought you Where might want to come check it out. The guy to his left? The turtle? The turtle. What? Turtle to his left? Okay. Turtle is Sogus. Yes. And it was weird, and we shot it, and now we can't find it, and I thought I would tell you because you would be mad if you didn't know. I'm mad that I do know. All right. <laughs> well, I guess I was wrong. You're wasting my time. And I'm sorry. He points at that uh, 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 pirate, and he goes, cut him. And the pirate huh? steps down. Uh, run off the run. off the <gasps> thing, and he pulls out his scimitar, and he comes up to you to cut your arm. He pulls it across your arm. Ah! Ouch! <laughs> Check. Mm, uh, so when I'm gonna let me see what he uh, what damage damage. Oh, that hurt, but I got just down strong. Six points of damage. Check. Oof! Ouch! Check this guy's self. <clears throat> Blood gushes from your arm, uh, and he looks at you, and he goes. I thought Doesn't you were taller. Well, this is a stressful job, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, you did I'm not. stress shrinking. <laughs> Everybody knows stress shrinking okay, is a thing. Well, uh, Jeff, yeah. Disguise self says it doesn't hold up to physical. Like, so if if he cuts her arm, basically, it will go through the illusion to cut her. Right. So it doesn't hold up to physical inspection. So I do with that. But it doesn't drop. No. no. From a. No, it doesn't. You would have had to, it allows go, you to, would have had to be look, like. Oh, yeah. because she is smaller it, than It would illusion. look yeah. weird. It would, give you an, yeah. it would give you an opportunity to see through it. Okay. Yeah. But you can roll Thanks against it. Thanks for that it. information. Uh, yeah, this dude, as he pulls the uh, scimitar across your arm and it goes deeper in than it should as it kind of passes past this illusion into your arm. He turns and he goes, and he reaches out and grabs you by the scruff of the neck. Uh, he's gonna oh, jeez. Uh, grapple. <clears throat> and uh, all of, I have you, advantage. Do you hear the yelling? Uh, I don't think you guys would yeah. hear it. Yeah, I just was wondering. You heard you yell. Okay, uh, so you got to roll a, a strength. Can I track? back away when he does that? We're gonna, he's trying to grapple you. So you're going to roll a contest of strength. And I get you hugo a from. 22. Hold on. One second. I don't have good strength, so this is uh, I got uh, advantage on that from Oddvar. Oh. Um, 
Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. Yeah. When he does that, I'm gonna drink this gummy berry juice. Nice. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a vial of potion that once consumed gives you the ability to bounce around for two actions in or out of combat. You can bounce 30 feet in any direction, including up. If you are pushed or thrown into something, you will bounce off of it in the opposite direction. Blunt weapons, unarmed attacks, and blunt projectiles will also bounce off of you. So he is freaking out, and I'm also gonna, in character, as the pirate, also freak out like, why is so, happening? <laughs> so as he reaches out to grapple you and gets a good yeah. Uh, motion down on the back of your neck. You bounce off in the opposite direction. And yeah. you boing, bounce off yeah. this wall and go bounding off the thing. And all these <laughs> pirates are like, there's, it's like a record scratch happened and everybody's looking at this insanity that just went off. And I'll be saying, white man, help me. <laughs> <laughs> help me, there's uh, something happened with the Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, all of these pirates are rushing down this, this Passageway. Oh boy. Uh, Do I control it at all? I don't think so. I mean, I think as you it come to a I resting stop. I have the ability stop, to bounce around. Yeah, as you come to a resting stop, you can now do a second bouncing action okay. if you want, but you sort of bounded back after. So I'm gonna, when, I, when I am there, I'm gonna stop and look at them and go, wait, wait! They're all standing in front of you, scimitars out. One of them is actually uh, has a chain that he's swinging above his head. Stop. Something is happening, and I feel like if you hurt me, it's gonna happen to you. There's a magic happening to me, all right? This one comes up <laughs> and is sort of investigating what's going on behind you. There's magic happening. There's can magic. I, uh, can I sneak past so I can get over to those two? Sure. Oh, my arms are only so long. Cut them, Siv. Uh, okay. are, they're probably focused that direction, right? Yes. OK, I'm going to try to, using my stealth and sleight of hand, I'm going to try to sneak this into the turtle's hand. Okay, what did you, can you roll deception to see if, if you're, they're buying anything you're saying here? Uh, and you're gonna roll sleight of hand. Yep. Uh, Lily, you, you have advantage from uh, Addison, and uh, Siv, you have advantage from Nugget, Ooh, Saurus, and Sweet. Rex. Negasaurus Rex. Lily, I will give you Inspire the Inspirer from Wookie King. For any player. No, but I can play it. So I can play it. I can still give it to whomever I want. It's just Lily can't have it. I'm giving you Bardic Inspiration as long as I remind you to do the same. Uh, So uh, roll a D8 on top of that. Oh, amazing. I also, so I have negative one on Charisma because of my bad breath. But I still, so I got, um, (laughs) because of my bad breath. Just out of game. Uh, <laughs> Thank you for your honesty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Ron, can you so, confirm that? Uh, confirm. Yeah, yeah. Confirm, confirm. So twenty-seven. Nice. Oh, good all right. Job. They're all. They're standing. There's uh, scimitars out, and you've just told this tale of magic, and. Uh, it was weird what happened. I'm telling you, a phoenix come in with a name tied around its leg, and then it disappeared, and now this is happening. Don't. Touch me. They back away. They believe that there's some voodoo on you <laughs> that they don't want anything a, a, a part of. I'm a cursed one and I was sitting here clearly to curse you back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, uh, Siv, you have rolled the side of hand? Yes, I got a 26. This right. is passing a note in character. And it, it, oh. it, it this turtle's uh, little turtle hand, uh, he sees it and looks up at Whitebeard and doesn't understand why he has a, a note in his hand, but he surreptitiously opens it and doesn't know what to do, <laughs> standing around looking. These, uh, these uh, pirates are all getting scared, and, and uh, Whitebeard stands up and goes, Oh, would I have to do this myself? And he steps down. You're all afraid of a little curse. <laughs> um, okay. So, he's not around the corner yet. <clears throat> Jeff, did I hear him scuttle away? The This one that was building the steps here? The knocking, uh, the, the if you're over here, you because he was knocking stops. on the... Right, the working stop. So yeah, I, the working yeah. definitely stopped. Okay. You uh, that. Then I'm gonna go, you know, I'm gonna try to keep my head below the the stairs, but try to see what's happening down that way. All right. Um, you definitely don't see anybody, you know, in your field of view okay. anymore. So, so no one down that way? I mean, you can see uh, over can the see top like where the, the guy used to be, and yeah. he's no longer there, and you can okay. see to the back of where that corridor okay. swings to the right, All right, and you don't see a person. Okay. Has the noise, is the noise loud enough that we would reach us over here? Which noise? The noise of the fray. 
Dylan. I don't think so. I think you're in a, you're in a, this is a, uh, a cave, a okay. corridor. So I'm gonna try to listen to what's going down that hallway. Uh, you also, you are definitely taken by these creatures and you've mm -hmm. been trying to tend to them, give them food. Here, Here you do, go. What are you doing? I'm trying to listen to what's happening down that, like perceive yeah. with All right, roll perception. Yeah. Uh, so regular, uh, you do have uh, advantage from J-Rock, uh, save from Twisted Emily. So I said, from Twisted Emily. Very <laughs> 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 good. Yeah. Does he look like he's moving, Sagas? Uh, Saugus is standing here, perplexed, looking back and forth, un uh, not understanding what, uh, 30, how this thing got into his hand. Dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You you hear the sounds of this commotion happening um, down this this corridor. But I still hear her talking. Yeah, she's you know. Okay. Talking very loudly okay, and yeah. making a case cool. for herself. Okay. Um, so Whitebeard has parted this sea of men. Okay. And stands here uh, at the at the entrance of this corridor. And the he second says, he looks at me, I'm going to do that Fahima touch mm -hmm. on him. So in the midst of battle, a chosen opponent, which is Whitebeard, and they will all see this, suddenly stops fighting and shouts, Wait! They might want to be friends! <laughs> <laughs> Healing the holder of this card 1d6 hit points before shaking it off and getting back to the fight. Okay. So he says, wait, they might want to be friends. <laughs> and then he, whoa. I told you it's weird. All the pirates look at Whitebeard. Just use like all your forces of good. <laughs> yeah, really, you can totally mess with him. <clears throat> He's, they're, quite, they're kind of afraid and he says, get him out of here, throw her out of here. <laughs> and they're scared and, and frightened. <clears throat> and then as they get closer to me. Why is it funny? Why it's is it great. funny? It's the way no. your mouth it's is amazing. moving. It's amazing. Oh, it's the only my mouth. Moving. Well, I gotta do it. I gotta do it to um, make that voice. As they, <laughs> okay. So, as they, I'm gonna take one step closer to them and I'm gonna light this Force of Good card that I don't know who gave this to me because it was so long ago, called The Match of the Funky Flame. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay? Yeah. So when lit, every creature in a 25-foot radius begins to spontaneously dance <laughs> until the match burns out or is Whoa, extinguished. Mm -hmm. Crushing it. And I'm going to try like hide it from them so it's like, I don't know what's happening. Yep. This dude dances. Whitebeard dances. Yes. This dude dances. Yes. This dude dances. Two of these pirates but not the owl bear, sadly. Yeah. Not the owl bear. I was hoping it would. You know what? Um, I want to see. I want to see Lily go it alone on this one and just wipe out everyone. On <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, so, Whitebeard starts <laughs> dancing. His, you know, big belly bop and his beard kind of swaying from side to side. It is a massive beard that goes down to his knees. It swings side to side. His eyes are confused. Uh, the pirates behind him are looking at him, and they start backing away. These gonna, two, who are not dancing, run. I'm gonna whisper into Saugus's ear, now's your chance Whoa. if you want to live. He turns and looks at you. Uh, I'm invisible. Right, right but looks at your direction right, sure. and sees right through you mm -hmm. and is confused run. and reaches out and feels okay. fur. Yeah. Uh, Grab his hand and pull. Okay, so. That doesn't count as an attack, does it? Because I'm not really attacking no. him. No, 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 no. Uh, he reached out for you. Uh, these guys are running. The owl bear is, you know, still bashing around down here, um, <laughs> causing more distraction. Exactly. Um, these guys are still. How long does it say they dance for? Well, the match extinguished, so it's a, 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 a bit. A match. Yeah, a okay. couple rounds yeah. at least. Uh, yeah. yeah, these three are dancing. This dude is dancing. Uh, these guys are running away. You're pulling him and going yeah. this direction. Yep. Okay, you're running this way. Oh, Dog and and I can probably see here. that guy running. Maybe? So here's the thing about Where I'm standing. Saugus. He's a turtle. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't move fast. Yeah. Uh, he's, mm -hmm. he's walking rather slowly. I'll get behind him and push. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, has it been 10 minutes yet? It has. Okay. Um, More chaos. Do I hear anything? <laughs> Wait, do, we don't hear anything. Besides Down the in your area, you do not. Although there is now a Disco happening? Is that yeah, correct? yeah. And, and, I still, I think know, this is pretty. I mean, I'll go. Tunnels, you definitely hear it. It's yeah. probably pretty loud. I mean, you hear like, <laughs> you know, that kind of like, all right, echoey, <laughs> something. Um, okay. And 
I know that the owl bear is it's behind like that door. Yeah. Yes, yeah. you guys yeah. came you back down fight. through that way and told me this. No, no. They yeah. didn't. They, op they tried I, to open that door, yeah. closed it, I said, and then came I said back. Owlbear, yes. Wait, what? When? Which door? When they talked to this guy. Yeah, when they yeah. talked to that guy and then came back. He, he also shouted, there's an Owlbear. Oh, he said Owlbear. Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay, okay, got it, got it, got it. Um, okay, great. Oh, you're right. I haven't I haven't actually seen the owl bear. Um, yeah, sorry. we're just aware. Uh, so I'm going to start making my way up that door. I'm going to uh, knock on the door. Fahima, <laughs> Fahima, whatever you're going to do with those animals, hurry up. Uh, Why? <laughs> I, think, I think something, I think it's going down. Uh, GDFR, going down for real. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So Claudiette is behind you, kind of uh, trying to keep up, trying to make sense of what's going on. Well, Siv, what are you doing with Saugus pushing I'm him from trying, behind? I'm trying to get him out of here, yeah. He moves rather slowly. Yep. Uh, and you guys come walking up to uh, this pirate and his dog. The dog is sniffing, sniffing, sniffing. And uh, this guy goes, <clears throat> Hey, uh, what's going on? Wait, Sogus, why, why are you leaving? Sogus goes, you know, Sogus uh, looks and feels you pushing him and... <laughs> um, curse. It's in the curse. There's a curse. Oh, no. I love him. Oh, oh, no. what? Oh, what? What's that? And the dog is sniffing around the, the other back two of running him. behind him. I'm going to well. try to keep the the turtle in between me and the dog. <laughs> so if the dog's on one side, I'm yeah. going to go to the other side of yeah. the yeah. turtle. Yeah. Just what, the other two are running. Do they run faster than the turtle? Can dogs run? and dogs. And cats. For sure. That but might sell the whole. <laughs> <they're> just, <laughs> just like yeah. yes. <laughs> Good call. Lots to keep track of here. These guys blow past. Yeah. Oh my you God. guys, they're out <laughs> screaming. <laughs> Everyone's they're yeah, we're hearing everything. <laughs> they're running point. down. They come uh, tearing around Ooh, here. Okay, so guys, yeah, if they're getting this that guy close, is like, what's going on? And uh, these two come. Uh, this. If they're getting that close, I'm gonna shove uh, 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 Claudiette into that room. If I'm hearing people coming. All right. Pass and, Fahima into the room. Yeah. If can we all three fit in there? Sure. Okay. Then hide. All right. You guys are cramped up next to these creatures in cages that are squawking and banging at the cages, and Fahim has been feeding them food, so they're feeling a little more robust. Shush, You're pressed shush. up against barrels, and uh, you pull the door closed behind you. These guys run and leap into this boat, and they're out of here. They're trying to, <laughs> they're trying to row away. Does the guy uh, who was prepping for the fight hear anything? Is he, is he uh, doing anything else? Uh, this guy's in a, in a room. Yeah, he's yeah. not... Uh, he's he's, <laughs> he's, he's, he's about to bring a monster in to fight this this owl bear. So he's very occupied with what's going on. Can we start heading up towards the noise? I just want to wait and see. I want to start heading up towards the noise. This guy with the dog is very confused and you keep pushing him, him back and, and he's like, what, what curse, what curse, what? what? And Saugus goes, that way. <laughs> and uh, he, he goes, Kicks his dog, and the dog goes, ah! and he, the dog runs this direction. Uh, he runs past. Jeff? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> are there like, is there like a stone I can pick up at my feet anywhere in this cave? Like a, just a loose There's definitely pedal. lumber and nails and yeah, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, a nail, that'll work. Yeah. Nail works. Uh, I toss it right next to Lily. Like I'm trying to hit the wall next trying to Trying to get her attention. Yeah. Okay. I'm just tossing it as far as I can, just trying okay. to. Get her attention. Lily, roll a perception, see if you notice that. You do have advantage, Lily, from a oh, board game corner. Thanks, nice. board game corner. I love advantage. Uh, <laughs> so if you continue to move, yeah. these guys are past you. He's running in here. You're moving this yeah. direction. 19 plus. Yeah, 23. Okay, yeah, so you definitely hear I'm this. very aware. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's people dancing all around you, uh, which is about to wear off. Yeah. But you hear this nail go ting, ting, ting on the floor, and you turn and look and see Uggo back there. I'm pointing at the saddle. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, <laughs> what are you doing? Just stand there. Okay, so I. This is a weird move. Can I, like, lodge the it's all match in a. <laughs> like, uh, I mean, the match it? is about to go out, so okay. you, you get one shot to do that. It's kind of burning down to your fingers at this point. Uh, this, you know, matches don't last very long. All right, uh, I'll look at them with, like, crazed eyes <laughs> and be like, Never touch me if you know what's good for you. <laughs> and then I will, I will, and then I will gummy berry juice my last bounce 
into a oh, ghost saddle. I love this. Okay. So you literally <laughs> bound, you bound over the top of this yeah. dancing guy. Yeah. You hit the ground one more time. You bounce Here off the ceiling. Everywhere. Yeah. You, you rebound <laughs> off the ceiling and land squaw into the yeah. into the the saddle. And Ugo, I'm assuming you're turning. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Dashing. And I go. Okay. A pirate's curse for me. <laughs> As we go away. All right. And so the match, the match burns itself out. These these pirates stop dancing and they look around and. Uh, uh, <laughs> Ethan6960 gave me the gummy bear juice, which was very fun. Oh, uh, I st stole Lily. She's on the back of Uggo. Yes. Remind me that it's there. Um, and uh, you hear Whitebeard go, after him. And uh, these guys are like, <laughs> and, you know, they're gonna, they're freaking out, but they're more scared of Whitebeard than anything else. So they start booking after you. I love that we're doing this all not an initiative. It's a little <laughs> crazy, but it's fun. I know. Yeah. Um, okay, so. So once I hear them run by, um, did you lock that? Oh, I don't know that. No. Um, Me? No, no, no. Siv, did he that lock Owlbear the Owlbear door? door? You yes. Did, I I, you specifically pointed I, I, out. I did, you did. I did lock it, but I did not say that I locked it. I just well, heard. Right. Your I hand's shaking. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna head back you up towards that door. Locked this guy's door. I thought. I relocked this because I didn't want the Owlbear to just burst out and start killing people. Right. Exactly. Oh, I see. Okay. So I'm gonna head that direction. Which direction? Towards the Owlbear. Okay. So you come uh, out I'm of this door. I'm gonna try and be sneaky about it. All right, roll stealth. Do I have advantage? <clears throat> I'll, I'll just be Yeah, you quiet. do. You do. Uh, from Astor. Thanks, Astor. Uh, 11. Lily grabbed a t-shirt cannon. So you don't do it very stealthily. You no. make a lot of noise, but you get yourself down here okay. toward this door. Uh, okay. You guys are staying, or Claudiette's staying in this room and peering out and going, what do I do? And uh, this dude is trying to figure out, he runs up to, uh, to uh, Whitebeard, who says, "Oh, oh after all. And so the, this guy's and the dog is, from from the dog is going hey, fast. Hey, uh, Jeff, yes. while we're running, she's gonna grab the T-shirt cannon that's in in the backpack, and I'm gonna grab the fire uh, Molotov, the two that I have. Okay, I'm gonna grab one. Okay, hoping that she can hand it to me. I can load it, jump off that, turn and fire, right onto the onto the. The wood? The wood. Yeah. I'm in love with that. Let's roll some dice. Cool. Uh, dexterity uh, would be what I would say. Maybe yeah. even athletics. Cool. Um, I'm dashing uh, uh, this way. Lily, I'm going to need you to roll dexterity as well. Okay. Just a straight dexterity roll. Uh, you do have advantages. Uh, Ugo, you have advantage from Insane Black. And Lily, you have advantage from Mario Fan 15. Thanks, Mario Fan 15. I'm sure helps. Nice. Uh, that would be a 23. OK, so you are. Uh, Lily, what do you, what do you I uh, got a 22. All right, so you <laughs> pull off this move Favorite uh, with aplomb. You uh, grab the the t-shirt cannon that old pal had given Ugo uh, as you left Bingle. And it, it is not loaded, though, is it? It is not loaded. That's why I was grabbing it to load it. The Molotov. OK. The oh, Molotov. with the Molotov cocktail. With the Molotov cocktail. OK, so it takes if an I need to use the t-shirt cannon card, I'll do that. Well, the t-shirt cannon card gives uh, AC to a friendly. It, it, well, it, it says a hand cannon appears in front of me that's already loaded. Right, okay. but it, the purpose is to give AC sure. to a friendly, sure. so we're not gonna use it as a weapon. Okay. But you do have this as a weapon. Yeah. So uh, your dexterity roll was good enough that you could have put the Molotov okay. in. It takes an action to crank, sure. the to wind it okay. up. So uh, it takes that. These guys get closer Are and you closer. setting on fire like this area? Uh, yeah, I was just gonna try to. I'm going to where we came from. Right. Uh, jump off of that and like try to fire it back so it sets this whole wooden area on fire. Okay. When they come into. It doesn't necessarily have to be like right there on the any part that's gonna keep them. It's gonna burst into flame and ha make them make the choice to run through. Gotcha. So I my worry is the, is the leaping backward with Lily in your saddle might injure her. Oh, well, we already did that one, right? Or was that the getting things? Because the 23 yeah. and the dexterity, I figured, or athletics, was the, what was that roll for? Uh, on athletics, that was yeah, the athletics. leap. But I'm saying, okay. I, think it needs, I think you need to take a little damage if you land on Lily. Oh, I was gonna try to land on my feet. Oh, I see. Yeah, I, yeah. See. I, I imagined the, uh, the cool, you know, <laughs> the matrix. You're not gonna land wound style. Not gonna yeah. John Lily, yeah, that's right. You pounds on the, on the little Yeah, yeah. okay, so you jump off backward. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Land on your feet. And uh, this, uh, as you crank it, Lily, and you jam the, the trigger, uh, this thing goes thoof, and it goes, uh, uh, I mean, the Molotov cocktail is not lit either, man. You gotta light it. Oh, yeah. You uh, could just light it and drop it. You don't even need the flame. I mean, it's super cool, and I want to make it work, but yeah, for sure. it takes an action oh, to crank it. It yep. takes an action yep. to light it. Yeah. 
Um, and you don't even, I don't know how you would produce the fire right now. Yeah, I don't have anything produced for you. Uh, is there any other uh, ammunition that you could have put into it instead of the Molotov? This isn't, there's <laughs> no land, water. there's no uh, torches. <laughs> Holy water. Huh? There's no torches lighting up this cave? Um, well, I don't think they would have stopped and lit the Molotov cocktail in a torch. <laughs> it's true. <clears throat> yeah, I'm dashing this way towards the owlbear. Okay. As soon as I see you, I say, uh, Fahima, this is, oh, you're going. No, 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 she, she's going, yes. Going that way? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I saw people running from here, so, and I know that's locked, or I know it's shut, so. Oh. I don't know, you, <laughs> if you're running toward the owlbear, I, do I don't know if you box. would know that that would get there, huh? I have a tinderbox. I know, I just take so much, yeah, of, I, I, I understand a, what you're trying to accomplish, but I feel action. like it's I get it. Yeah, I mean, I still let it, I would still do that, because Ugo is not Great. smart enough to realize that that's a thing. Great. Like, he does yeah, it, and he goes, goes, oh, I got it. Goes, light yeah. it. Oh, it, no. It, it, it clocks this Bunch dude in stuff, the though. face with a yeah. with a <laughs> glass, uh, you know, uh, a bottle. Uh, glass bottle right. pop into his head. Right. He, you know, he kind of takes that damage, but the, cool. the next few keep and going. While, while he's doing that, I'll be like still screaming like crazy, like, have a drink on a fire inside, <laughs> don't you? I love, I love the, <laughs> the cinematic moment of this, of like doing the Molotov cocktail, <laughs> shooting it, <laughs> and just go, <laughs> and the guy's like, oh, and then we're you. <laughs> <laughs> and then really, I'll go realizing, oh, right, gotta have fire. Yeah, uh, exactly, <laughs> it's very, it's a very cool moment. Um, and, hmm? no. so which way go would you it, go? So if Fahima isn't, wouldn't run that way, then I I my I want to run towards the where owlbear. I think the owlbear is. That it would be so definitely this way. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And so I, you are up so next I would have gone at the James. same time as James then. Okay. And you saw that it is locked. Uh, yes, I try the door. It's locked. Yep. It is locked. Okay, All so right. I'm going to shoot. Now, keep in mind, I'm lock. very fast. I'm yeah, you fast. are. You're, you're booking. This, this to me is the moment at the, at the beginning of uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, where he's like, "Go, go, go!" and like all of the natives are behind him, you know. Yeah. Um, so uh, that's kind of what's happening is you're, you know, you're booking. These guys are, these guys are um, going as well. And what's Claudiette doing? She's, she's just in she's the room. hanging right there. <laughs> yeah, but now that both of you guys have left, would she really stay in the room? I mean, she's kind of a coward, so yeah, probably. All right. Uh, and then what happens? I mean, I think she's kind of peeking out here. Yeah. And then what happens? Right at this moment, in all of this chaos, you hear and feel an incredible kaboom, an incredible blast. Everybody roll a strength saving throw. Oh no. Oh boy. That's not my strength. Okay. Strength uh, saving throw? Yes. Do I have a... I'm using my Huggo from Uggo. <laughs> uh, nope, not using that. Do I have a advantage? Yeah, advantages or? Uh, yes, uh, you have James. You have advantage from. Thank you. Uh, Paga de, de Pagasi. Uh, Ugo, you have advantage from Taxing Wolf. Lily, you have advantage from username Eric. Thank you, and uh, uh, Fahima, you have advantage from Amazon. Oh. Sean, Siv, you have advantage from Thank Snark you. on the Cruel. Twelve. Right. I'm using a Huggo from Ugo, which gives me another one, so I get fourteen. James, you go prone. Okay. Thirteen. Thanks, Contain. Fahima, you go prone. No! Nine. Ugo, you go prone with okay. Lily. Ow! I got 14. I might pretty good on the back. Uh, <laughs> You're on the back 15. of 15. Uh, 15, uh, Siv, you stay up. Okay. So, uh, you are all down uh, on your backs, and that, as you Are we able to tell ground, where that came from? It's as if the entire place shook. It's as if the entire place, there was this mass, it kind of came from above you, as if this massive sound rocked the whole place. And uh, you all fall to the ground, or at least except for Siv, and you're still pushing him yeah. in this direction. Yeah. Now, are you trying to get here or off here? Looks like another exit. I know, but I, I thought we were going to use the portal. I'm gonna go back to there, because I want to find Claudia. <clears throat> okay. So that's, that's the direction I'm pushing him. All right. So you're pushing them back to Claudia. These, all these pirates. Do they not fall from the? Nope. Cool. This is what's called a yeah, yeah. lair action. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, snap. Because you are in the pirate's lair. Yep. And uh, they all come around to you and surround you. Whoa. And uh, Whitebeard comes walking up behind you. And you guys can get back to your feet. The two of you are here. 
Whoa. I, I, and I'm trying to get through that door. That's my goal right now. Yeah, if things are if if if, if it's all going down, I am. Well, I, I wanted to shoot a magic missile at oh, the yes. at the lock to try and break it open. Okay. If that follows logic. <laughs> uh, you blow the lock. Yeah. You can do that, but as they surround Ugo and Lily here, and Whitebeard walks up, and he sees what looks like one of his pirates back overflowing the back, like penetrating the back of this backpack thing and staring down at this crazy, uh, cursed being that has caused all this crazy chaos. And uh, there's this orc that it is sort of on and in and of, and he looks down at all of you and he says, what do I make of this? And that's where we're gonna stop tonight. Oh. Candles just got lit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's, no. a lot, there's a lot going on besides the candles. Oh, and the candles are lit, so we'll do that at the beginning of next show. Great. Oh my gosh. What time is it? Uh, we can't keep going for another hour? <laughs> <laughs> I, am, uh, I am about to pass out. I'm not feeling well. So oh. I'm going to stop us here, uh, but um, uh, we will pick up this next week. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm feeling a little light. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, but... This is pretty awesome, too much and we are, yeah, Chaos. we are uh, having a, a lot of fun inside uh, Whitebeard's Juddy. <laughs> so I appreciate everybody that gave us uh, forces of good and forces of evil and uh, advantages and disadvantages. Uh, very, very sweet of you to support the show. Um, this is going to be fun. We're going to pick this up right here next week, and uh, I hope you join us Wednesday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. Until then, humankind, be both. To all of you who played along and interacted with us throughout the evening, our humble thanks. And thank you to everyone that shared our adventure. And my respect and thanks to MD for D&D 2. Great name. Staple Clown, General Marklar, Obi-Wan, Thick Noby, Speedbump 78, uh, Elhim Nir, Battle Turkey, yes. Jesse, three, two, one, three, two, one. Shadow in the Shade, Batman, underscore Joker. Cosmic Candy, Mickey Wolf 19, Zerus, Garrett, Raga, uh, Ragland, and Davis Wolf. And all the others who, viewers, uh, who submitted Force of Good and Force of Evil cards uh, that were used in tonight's show. And don't forget, the Dungeon Run, the official Dungeon Run after show, airs live every Tuesday night at 6 p.m. Our host, Trisha Hirschberger, sits down with the cast of the show and special guests to talk all things Dungeon Run. From community questions and episode recaps to theories and all the fan art your mortal brains can fathom, The Dungeon Rundown airs right here on Caffeine caffeine.tv forward slash the dungeon run. Make sure to follow the channel to get live notifications. And of course, join us for the dungeon run next week and every weekend. Or oh, sorry, not weekend, Wednesday at 6 p.m. Pacific. Again, that's every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Pacific right here as the dungeon run continues. Until next week, may the dice roll in your favor.